Hello and welcome back to another episode of SDS once again. Sharky has ducked the pod. That's I'm sorry, it. guys. Ooh. He has not made it to today's episode. He's claims he's out of the country. I don't know where he is. So Stop yeah. the cow. <laughs> Stop the cow. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> Get your ass out of here, man. Sure. <laughs> These supply <laughs> teachers. <laughs> Get him the hell out of here. Yo, yo, yo. I thought you was dead. Stop the cow. I thought you were dead. I'm here. Yeah? I'm here. I don't duck. Mm. Yeah? I never duck. Mm. If I'm not here, I'm not here for good reason. It's about right? damn time. Hey. I saw the comments. Overdue. I saw the comments. Everyone's saying I was ducking. Mm. You thought I ducked again today, didn't you? When he saw the intro, when he saw the lineup come out on Twitter, he thought I ducked. <laughs> Ain't no ducking here. Ain't no running. Ain't, Ain't no, no running. running. Don't go anywhere. I know you want to run right now. Though. Don't go anywhere. I don't want to be here. <laughs> I don't want to be here. Yeah. But we've got things to talk about, yeah, guys. Thanks. Like I see, you've said hello. Welcome to another episode of SDS. It is the first episode of the year. The first Premier League roundup mm. of the year. And what better way, to, well, what worse way to start for me, but what better way to start for the entertainment of you guys who aren't <laughs> supporters of Arsenal or Man United um, than Arsenal Man United losses. So we'll talk about all of that and all the other fixtures. Um, one thing we are doing this year is we're working out different ways to keep the Premier League roundups fresh. So what we're going to do is... We have started to go with a format where we do the key fixtures of the weekend and then the rest, for example. Some weekends, there might actually be one key fixture because of the result. Some might be two, some might be three. So, for example, this week we have three key fixtures, mm -hmm. which is the arsenal Fulham game, uh, the Liverpool-Newcastle game, mm -hmm. and also the united uh, not the forest game. So, we have three key fixtures, which means the key fixtures will be speaking about a little bit more in depth. And then all the other games, we'll speak about in more faster pace, like stop, like 10-minute timer. Punchy. They're not punchy. Mm -hmm. What uh, this question, that question, address this, address this, you mm -hmm. know, correspondence, and then we move on. So, if you are a supporter of the team that's in the other fixtures, then don't worry because once your team does get a big win or just has a crazy game, you'll be part of a key fixture. And also, one thing that'd be cool is in the comments, you guys can suggest which games will be a key fixture after the results done. You can say, Hey, Sharky, you should make this game the key fixture so you guys can be involved more. Mm -hmm. But Let's get into the Premier League round. Now, before we do, let me just introduce our first lineup of the year. Hey, the hey, first hey, hey. SDS cast of the Let's year. Go. If you are listening on Spotify and, and, and iTunes, head over to YouTube to watch us. If you're watching us on YouTube and listening to audio, head over to Spotify and iTunes and all the others in the description below. Right next to me, we have the man who is uh, rocking. Rocking. Mm. You know, I just came back from South Africa, so I have to speak rocking. like I'm from yeah, South yeah, Africa. Back, by the way. He's hey, rocking. He's a way, bro. He's rocking the Inter Milan finalismo. The ninth, the 2010 Champions Who's on the back? League Who's on the final. Back? Diego Melito, Principe, the goal hey. scorer of that game, Facts. the double goal scorer of that game, he scored a brace to win them that Champions League. Mm. Yes, is coming to Inter Milan jersey. Uh, is he trying to avoid his team? I don't know. We'll mm. find out. Opposite him, also here for the first time, first cast of the year, is Mr. Fu Easy, the team with the highest XG ever. We'll talk about that in a bit. We will. We will. Good to see you. Oh, indeed. indeed. Good to see you. Man. Top of the league. Top of the league. Man. You are. Top. You are entering 2024. Top of the league, man. Last year. Last year. 2020. We was top from 2023. You were. We were top for 2023, <laughs> and now we've entered 2024, and we're still top. Look at that, man. Must be nice. And right next to him, we have a man who is on a football show, right? SDS, the greatest football show, by the way, in the world. Thanks. And it's got a shirt that says "No Ball Games." Hey. You know, there's no rules around there. No ball games. And I, and I play by my own rules. <laughs> shout, shout out City, yeah. shout shout out City, City Boy Mode. Mode. <laughs> Incredible album. <laughs> I just for thought it would be a good reference. Album of 2023, that. <laughs> yeah, for real. Uh, Fuad Kadani is here. Welcome, man. Welcome 2024, yeah, guys, man. Yeah, man. It's good to be here. It's good yeah, to be here. Yeah, let's have a round of applause, yeah, man. man. Yeah, yeah. Welcome ourselves into the yeah, new year. Let's go. Let's go. Start where we left off, by yeah. the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good Thanks. for me. Yeah, don't know about you lot, man. Yeah, definitely yeah. good for me. Right. Yeah, no, it didn't end great for me, man. Uh, which will go into the first game. We'd have to talk about it. We can't, we can't avoid it anymore. Mm. Craven Cottage mm. on the 31st. My birthday. Yeah. My birthday. We went to Craven Cottage. Beautiful. What a way to start my birthday, man. What a day. <laughs> what a day. I, I was this close to going as well. First thing I thought of as soon as the game finished, I was like, happy birthday, Sharks. Yeah. <laughs> go on to the <laughs> Cheers, guys. <laughs> Thanks for the present. What a gift. I work with Arsenal so much. I thought at least they'll be like, you know what, it's Sharky's birthday. Let's 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 celebrate for him. I, you know, I was a bit delusional. Mm. I thought we'd win and then maybe they'll put something up for me. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, they, you'd go to the away ground and they'd be on the screen. Like, hey, hey, Sharks. Birthday, Sharky. Two Sharky emojis. Like, the, the players do this, the players do that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but no, but no, That's but let's, del let's delusion. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I told you I was delusional, man. Um, but yeah, let's let's talk about it. I mean, mm. I'm sure you guys have many things to talk about. There's a 
key first key fixture of the game week. So, like I said, go away, guys. Take it away, boys. I mean, I mean where do you want to start? Yeah. To be fair, I don't uh, want to. I, I want to skip. Uh, <laughs> I want to move on. I want to move on to the <laughs> after the one after I mean, that. Yeah. <laughs> Was it back to back losses now? Isn't back it? Back to back losses. Yeah. Leave now. One win in five, I think. Well, one win in five games, back to back losses. Uh, West Ham at home, which was obviously a horrible one. I, w- I missed that one, but yeah, you know what? I, w- I know exactly where I want to start. Where? Start of the year, brand new episode. I want to bring something back from yeah. last season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sharky, yep. yeah. At this current moment in time, <laughs> mm-hmm. what do you think is the percentage for Arsenal winning the title? Let's start from there. <laughs> We're doing percentages now. That's start your thing, of the year, bro. first yeah, yeah. episode. Let's let's set a barometer. <laughs> That's child. Who does percentage? <laughs> <laughs> Done, yeah, you wiped off, yeah. Uh, <laughs> let me see the table. Wait. <laughs> I told you last year, bro. It was a meticulous process. Yeah, yeah, of course. So, yeah, there's an exact time. so right now we're fourth. We're fourth. We're forty points. City obviously have the same point as by their game in hand, and obviously we're we're five points behind Liverpool. Liverpool, let's say now, hundred percent is the highest. So we say. Liverpool probably have like uh, they have the highest chance. Mm, I'll give City, I'll give Liverpool and City same amount of chance. I'm gonna give them forty forty, and then I'm gonna give us forty forty twenty right now. Twenty yeah, percent. Yeah, I think I, I think I, I carried it over because yeah, I think yeah. I think obviously I don't think Aston Villa going to win the league or no one else. I think it's City, Liverpool, or Arsenal at this current moment in time. Mm. I, I'm gonna give even though um, Liverpool are above City by five points. City, if they win that game in hand, they'll be two points behind you, and that yeah. two points differential. I think the quality of City is. is, is Makes it up, so I think you have equal chance to win the league right now as things stand. So that's 40 40, and then the other 20 comes over to us. I don't want, I don't want the other 20. That's the mind meticulous <laughs> process. You like I it? That was good. I don't, that was want, good. I don't want your 20. Oh, we have 20. Take your 20 away and give us more. <laughs> <laughs> Take give it to you, so yeah, 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 yeah. I don't want your 20. You don't deserve 20. We have 20. We was, 20. yeah. What now? <laughs> yeah, finito, finito. We're not the same. Chalas. But the thing we is, are not the but same. the thing is cool. Let me tell you this, right? We was once upon a time. Twenty but now, games in, oh, it doesn't. Uh, Twenty games in, you have forty-five points. Last season, we had more points than you do now. We didn't win the league. We had what like does that fifty mean? points. What does that mean? That you could lose the league as well. We're in twenty twenty-four now. Let's talk about Arsenal, guys. <laughs> let's talk go about. On. Arsenal. What do you guys want to talk about? I'll let you guys start. We lost. I got, uh, I got four words for you guys. Four words. Okay, go on. Yeah. And uh, the first one is going to be in capital letters. Well. Wait, what? I said I've got four, okay, four yeah, words yeah, that's for the you, first one. And the first one is in capital. Yeah. Well! Yeah. It's been fun. <laughs> <laughs> the like, ride is over. Yeah, it's finished now. Like, it's come to an end. You guys have to think about how, okay, we need to fight for Europa. We need to fight for Champions League. We don't need be to get silly now, floor. man. No, no. If, no, let's not if, be silly. If, listen, if, listen you know let's not is? be silly because right now, right, we're Shut a serious league, football show. League, yeah. We're a serious football show. Yeah, yeah. People here, they want to yeah. hear us talk about and what the issues are, what's going on. Yeah. And you're talking about Europa League. We're not going to be in Europa League. Let me explain. Right? And now this can age poorly. Shut, no, it's not. Now watch this. I need it. You're saying serious football show, serious this. I explain things in an unserious matter. But it's serious. There's substance Like last year, it was everything. I might have said it unseriously. But it was it's serious. It's science. Mm. I was saying science. So, so now what I'm saying yeah. with Arsenal, forget the league. It's not like that, that, it's, that's my thing. I agree. <laughs> that's my thing. I hear it. Like, let me talk about the league right now. Let's talk about your problems. Okay. What's happening with your club? Mm. Let's talk about Arteta as well. Let's do it. Mm. Let's talk about Saka's hair mm. because mm. the 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 sand is not it's not it. Mm. He needs to get rid of it. He looks, like, he looks like a kiwi, fam. Yeah. Like the, Does he, he have that Mane seven year dial? Mane seven. Mane did it once. Woo! He did what and he left it there. Now it's just it's all over the place, bro. Yeah. Spaghetti hoops, fam. Yeah, yeah. yeah they need to stop stop that. So we, let's talk about them issues. Okay. Arsenal yeah. winning the league. There's no point. Like okay. leave the delusional stuff. Leave it to me. Okay, that's yeah. my job. Yeah, yeah. And I'm good at it. Okay. <laughs> I'm good at it. Yeah. Leave it to me. I agree. I, I think yeah. Arsenal season for the title. Uh, I. I think the hopes are but pretty the, much but over. But the thing is, it's like and, 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 you and drop points in a time where other teams like City have dropped points. But you know, no, no, no. City were in this kind of form. For me, I think what us. it takes to win it from a yeah. coming behind position, I don't know if you have the tools right now. Yeah, and I think no. last year was almost like that opportunity there. And I feel like this year, a lot of the narrative has kind of been, okay, we might not be as fluid as uh, attack, attacking wise going forward, but defensively we're still as solid. Mm. And now you're kind of, leaking in a few odd goals that you normally wouldn't, if that yeah. makes sense. But there's so many issues I feel like this season, whether it's your fullbacks not performing to the same way, your mm. midfield not having that fluidity, that front line lacking any source of goals, creativity, yeah, yeah. spark yep. or anything. And you could talk about that within those last two games, the amount of chances that were kind of missed. 
I mean, in the, the midweek one against West Ham, the amount of chances you created mm. and then guys just weren't finishing their dinner. So there's so many issues, but then you can look at the players, but you have to look at the manager at some point as well. And I think so, so much this season has been focused on, yo, Jesus needs to step up. Martinelli's not... But Arteta on the sideline, I'm sorry, you had one of the most fluid teams last year. And Facts. this season, you have a lot of the same personnel, but it's not looking as fluid. Why is that? What has changed? Why is Ben White not as effective going forward. Why are those overloads not happening with Odegaard and Saka? I said it last week, and this week has been no different. You've had two more losses mm. into it. And now it's like, no question seems to be asked about Arteta, I feel like. And it all seems to be put on the players, which yeah, yeah. rightly so. And and we can talk about some of those individuals more. Nah, but wanna, let's start I, with I wanna, the gaffer. I, I want to start on Arteta. Yeah. Yeah, because look, I, I predicted Arsenal to win the league. Mm-hmm. And a big you reason for that, that because he did it last season. I love it. And it Keep was... going. <laughs> <laughs> Next year they got that. <laughs> you go, you go, you're onto something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, no, I predicted Arsenal to win the league, and a big reason for that was because of Arteta. I've said about Arsenal in the past. I look at their team, and I don't think they have as many world class players as City or as Liverpool. I, I would be delusional in my opinion to think mm-hmm. that. Like I think when you look at like, let's call them all world players, like players that could potentially get into any or. I don't want to say that, but like elite level I know players, Asian, supreme yeah. talents. I want to yeah. say I look at Saliba, and I actually look at Declan Rice as well too. But the rest of them, I, well, I'm not going to say they're bad players. They're good players. They're not like top, top, top end players, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Um, but I looked at Arteta and I looked at the system that he built, and especially last season, I was of the opinion that the <laughs> system was so elite that it could elevate the level of like, let's say, seven out of ten players to potential title challenging, title winning players. Which it did do last season. Which it did. At one point, they were like, what, 50 points after 19 games. They were saying like, they were playing at an unbelievable pace. Well, for 96 points in the season. 100%. So of course it worked. But the issue that I saw with, yeah, the the issue that I saw was that when that system started to falter, and let's let's be honest, every system falters. Mm -hmm. That's when you need your best players to kind of rise and give you- Dig you out. A word that I like to use, X factor. When the game is slowed down, when the the system isn't working, when your team is playing well, when you're not playing well, what can you do as an individual to create game winning moments? Game breaker. Yeah. The one I always bring up that I thought was amazing at that hazard. You yeah. guys know that, you but can. but I look at the, the, this Arsenal team. I don't know if there's enough players that are able to to rise when the system is failing and provide you those moments. That was an issue I had last season. But again, I rated Arteta so highly that I thought the system wasn't going to falter, especially yeah. the way it did last year, and you had more depth. But this year, you're kind of seeing, in my opinion. Reappearing. I think Arteta's system has been found out. Yeah. And this is where you need your best players, your guys that you, you spend so much money on, the wages that you give them, to rise in those moments. And, and right now you're seeing it. Martinelli is drowning. Bukayo Saka looks exhausted and he looks like he's drowning. Jesus, uh, similar. Odegaard, I think the last week has been better, but at one point the season was struggling. Mm-hmm. And again, so I'm consistent with the way I viewed my players. I have to look at the manager. If your system is faltering, it's on you now to, to, to tweak that yep. and create an environment for your best players to rise again because they're so reliant on you. Uh, but this is why I feel like now the, the lights have to be on Arteta because mm-hmm. you're going through a rough patch now. Now it's how do you adapt? I remember when mm-hmm. two seasons ago, Klopp had all them injuries and he was playing Nat Phillips with the high facts, line. Facts, People facts. are looking at him crazy and saying, bro, can you adapt to mm-hmm. the rough moment you're in or whatever? And we're not saying like Arsenal's in the worst moment, but okay, your system this season isn't as fluid. Let's stop using this, oh, it's defensively solid. Mm-hmm. Show us some kind of flexibility. And if anything, Arteta, the first two and a half years, that was one of the good things I always thought. The the, the last 10 minute trick of Rob holding. Yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. The yeah. Back five five the like back. That. He yep. was always tactically yep. flexible. And I said, that's the main reason why I think you lot might do a deep run in the Champions yep, League this sure, year as well. Sure. But also on the players, I think this is why it's dangerous to crown everybody world-class so yeah, early facts, facts. after like a good year. Saka last year, world-class. Odegaard, world-class. Jesus, he just needs to be in the nine position and he'll be world-class. Let him come back from injury and he'll be fit. And now you're seeing why we always demand consistency. Mm-hmm. Not just one year, but two, three years. Mm-hmm. Can you really deliver at that level? Can you do it in the Champions League? Can you do it in multiple competitions? There's a difference, you're right. On? There's a difference between top players and elite players. Yes. Yeah. And the elite players do it two, three years in a row to do it. It's like second nature. You're talking mm-hmm. about the Mohamed Salah, the Kevin De Bruyne, these players, there's a reason because Mohamed Salah was still, when you talk about that time of Nat Phillips and Kabak and Reese Williams, yeah. they still finished, those, I think they'll get uh, top, I think they got snatched fourth that year. Yeah, yeah. I think they, they made got, a late yeah. surge yeah, last late, 10 games, I remember. End, yeah. yeah, but I'm saying players like Salah were behind that. So it's there's difference in top players and elite players. I think we, I agree with you, we have a lot of top players. Yeah. 
when they have enough elite, elite players, like world difference. level players, yeah. and, 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 and at yeah. the top, those are the small percentages yes. of where it makes a difference to winning and losing. 100%, like yeah. that bit, that experience, that kind of little bit yeah. of X factor to kind of change. Look the how game. many times we've said with Liverpool this season, for example. I mean, all season we've heard Lee Ben say unsustainable, Absis said unsustainable. I've questioned defensively: are they? Are they? There have been great games, in my opinion. You may not agree, where I think Liverpool haven't been elite over a game. Yeah. But when you have players like Trent Van Dyke. Allison and Salah, who are against those players, I view I as like yeah. world level players. Yep. Yeah. They can bridge the gap, whether uh, between a good game and a great game, and, and give you those moments that win you those games that maybe on a different day you don't deserve to win. Right. Arsenal, I question if they. And here's the thing: the, the one player that I truly believed last season was starting to develop into one of those was Bukayo Saka. Mm. And this year, I, I, yeah, Bukayo Saka this <laughs> year, in my opinion, has been a little disappointing yeah. because Fa- Faisal was the one that brought it up before anyone saying, okay, the goals are there, the assists are there, but I'm not moved by performances and they killed him for that. Mm-hmm. He's looking a lot smarter a few weeks uh, later. To hey, my takes are like Drake, <laughs> you know? <laughs> no, 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 don't give me, don't give me, don't, yeah, don't give me a chance to say that. I mean, I, I, I agree with the whole, and everyone knows I'm a big Arteta fan and, and that hasn't changed, not even a little bit just mm. yet, right? Mm-hmm. That hasn't changed. Uh, I do agree, I think, Managers get a lot of praise when they do things right. Mm -hmm. And I think it's only right for them to get looked at and at least questioned when things are going wrong, right? I'm against the whole thing of, uh, it's ridiculous. I mean, it's only probably a small percentage, but I've seen stuff on like TalkSport where people are already calling for his head, which is insane. Yeah, right? I, don't, I don't even want to address, I don't even want to like give that any attention. But I think I agree in the sense of now it's like, okay, um, mistakes are made, things can go wrong, right? You can try something and it's not working. You can be a bit stubborn and mm. try something and it's not working. I think there's obviously an issue um, scoring goals right now. I think we, c- we can't score more than one goal in a game in like the last, apart from the Bryant game, we won 2-0. Even yeah. that game should have won 5-6-0. I think I tweeted saying, Arteta's coached the 5-0 today. And I still get mocked for that today, but it was right. So we're not scoring goals. And if you score one goal in a game, it's very hard to get, like, it's hard to get a win because if you score one goal in a game, you might just win 1-0 or mm-hmm. draw 1-1 one, one, or lose 2-1, mm-hmm. right? It's like, you need to score at least two for me to comfortably win. Yeah. And we're not scoring two goals. And it's then it's like, but then at the same time, these same players, Saka, Martinelli, Odegaard, they had 15 goals each last season. So it's, it's are they not doing as well or is the system, like you said, not like just broken now, which then doesn't allow them to do as well. Mm-hmm. They're the same people, they're the same players, yeah, a year thanks. older yeah, if yeah. anything, so they should be a bit better yeah. if anything. So they probably are. So now there's a lot of things going wrong. And I think one one thing is that left side in mid position. I think, yeah, I think maybe he's got it wrong. I think he's definitely got it wrong. I think uh, Havertz, even though, and I'm Havertz's biggest fan, right? I think Havertz has done a lot of good things for us this season in that, in that role. But yeah. I think consistently, I think we need to figure out what's going the on balance. here. Because I think Havertz is good for when you get those long balls in, when it becomes mm, physical, yeah, those late, runs, in the box, those late yeah. runs into the box, I think Havertz is very important. And I'm not against the Havertz signing. I think Havertz will be a good um he's a good part of our squad we like we like he's a good component mm-hmm. in our team but i think we need to figure out what the issue is what the answer is to do with that left center mid spot is it because when it was Xhaka, it was working a lot more you know is it does it mean maybe we have to figure out something we could do with Mill smith Rose? Like does it mean like you know i think I, odegaard might have to move to the left that be, that's what i'm saying maybe odegaard has to move to the left but then yeah. odegaard moving to the left it's, that's, that's a system thing. That's a whole system change because a yeah. left footer playing on the left center mid might change how it works with that connection between you know and Nelly and Ode. You know so and now I'm working, now I'm thinking, okay, what he has to, he has to switch something. He has to yeah. change something. He has to tweak something, right? And if you're a top level manager, you have to find something and you have to, and it's in the moment. There's no time. And we're playing Liverpool. I know it's the yeah. cup in a couple of days. Then we've got uh, back to the league in a few weeks. What can he do to change it? But also it's like the players also have to hold themselves accountable and, figure out something. Because then, then individual coexist. brilliance is gone. Like yeah. there's no, yeah. we don't have individual brilliance. I think Declan Rice is the only match winner. Right. And, 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 he's 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 and even he's been there, the yeah. last, like the last he's week or so, I've been, seeing him I've been hearing questions. murmurs of people questioning him saying, yeah. why is he not playing more punchy part? And I'm like, you knew what you was getting with Rice before he came. He's never been a eye of the needle passer. He's, he's always been what he is. But then now it's all of a sudden because you're struggling to create your midfielders mm. are struggling to, your other midfielders or your forwards are struggling to create chance for themselves. You're expecting more from him. So uh, that narrative change of all of a sudden Rice has to adapt his game to the way else. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah. You've been praising him all season. What I would want to know is where do you think is his best role? Because I think obviously party not being there is a six, massive miss because six. I feel like Rice would almost be the natural replacement for Shaka. He's got the similar kind of attributes about him. 
athletic, but legs. Athletic, he's got the legs. Maybe but not, he hasn't, maybe he's not, not as great as a Shaka third. He's yeah. not as great yeah. as yeah, 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 Maybe that pass. Six. He's a six. He's a six. Yeah, yeah. But there are, another thing is, Part is also a six, so they can't play together. Mm. And it's sad because... because I feel, I feel like Rice, so Rice, when he was at West Ham, was almost unshackled a little bit. Suchek giving him that kind of sitter role, and that's what Party would be able to kind of do. And I feel like Rice has been able to do that this season. He's almost taken over that midfield, mm. but... I don't know. I just hope now it doesn't become a thing of trying to figure out what's the best role for Rice. I feel like you just need to get it kind of sorted and yeah. then I get mean, that midfield locked in. I know. In. The Where? thing is, I, I'm not... The Rice stuff, I don't see it yet where people have seen me question him. And the Saka stuff as well, we, obviously he's a big, he's our biggest name so everyone's looking at Saka. But I yeah. think it's unfair on Saka. I think Saka's, Saka's still... If we're talking about numbers, I know there's specific performances but... He scored in this game, I know, it was like a, just like it came off him, whatever, but he's still doing good numbers this year, especially in the Champions League. Like, he's doing well. I think no one's mentioned him, Part. You haven't mentioned Martinelli, you know, on the other his, side. His game is, for me, he's, he's one But do you he's think his game's bro. affected by the system faltering or him just not being good? Uh, uh, I think a, a bit of both. Martinelli is a very specific player. Mm -hmm. we, we all know Martinelli in terms of dribbling is not like some, and people, again, people throw me the dribbling stats, save me that, guys. Please trust your eyes. <laughs> Martinelli is not some elite level dribbler, yeah. guys. I, I don't care how many take-ons he takes. When he kind of is in front of a set defense, he's going to struggle to, to, to find solutions in beating his men. That's natural, right? Mm -hmm. Save me the, the take-ons. Um, but yeah, I think it is also part of the, the, the system, to be honest with you, because last year, I always said Arsenal were kind of like built on the, the relationships and like triangles that they had. On the right, you had Ben White, Odegaard, Saka. You had Xhaka, Zinchenko, and Martinelli. And sometimes on that left-hand side, you had players like playing passes without even looking. Like it was like mm -hmm. the, the relationships that they had, everyone knew where they were without even picking their head up. Mm -hmm. And I think Havertz this season or whoever's playing on that left in general has slowed it down. Like I even look at sometimes, there were some clips circulating on Twitter today where Havertz will pick up the ball and Martinelli is automatically running in behind. Mm -hmm. There's there's movement in behind and Havertz is just maybe a step Laboring. or two. He's very, yeah. he's very leth like lethargic, I would say is the word. So yeah, I, I would definitely look at that in terms of Martinelli. But we know what kind of player he is, right? Like if you put, and again, you've compared him to Son a lot in terms of like that could potentially be a ceiling. If you put Son in that kind of role as well too, he's going to struggle. It's We've the seen same Son thing. In the last few yeah, 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 100%. It's yeah. the same thing. Right now, it's January. Yes. Transfer windows open. That was open. the next thing I was going to yeah. ask. Arsenal to go in there and do serious business. Like, what do you think you need? Right now, it's definitely need a striker. Is our priority a striker? Yeah, for me, is a striker. You can't, got Jesus you, you like can't Kikeya, do far. Or you is it the midfield we're talking about? In, in, the this, league, in, the, in, this, in this Premier League, you won't go far if you don't have a goal scorer. I Whether that comes from I your right side, left side, or Also, football striker. is won and lost in the midfield. If you have control of the, midf of the middle, you're more likely to win, right? We have... I'm not saying I would love a striker. Give me a striker. I want, I want a striker. But I'm saying an immediate fix... What do we need more? Do we need to control that midfield more? Which will then, because, or do we need, think, well, we I have think, Enkete think, and JJ's already there, as, or do we need to buy a striker and leave that midfield still? As you said, there? I don't know. As you said, you haven't scored more than one goal or In something recent, like that. Yeah, yeah. Recent games, yeah. So, personally, for yeah, me, but I the, think I know the, the goal is, but the goal is finished by the strikers, but it's made from yeah. the mid, the middle of the pitch. I just I, think it's a joke. Like, you got Jesus, I don't think he's good. Enough to play for Arsenal in terms of trying to yeah, win. Yeah, but they're stuff. not going to score from nothing. You take him off. Who, 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 who comes on? In Kelsey, I didn't care. Yes, that's mad to me. <laughs> that's that's don't you number think? fourteen. No disrespect, but that's like that's Who's crazy, striker, bro. Hear it. Who's the starting striker? We'll talk about Liverpool. What I'm saying, I'm, but it's the same thing. What I'm it's saying what, it's is it's it's your James. goals, your goals come from your. I know, but don't look at Liverpool last season. We almost won the league by scoring. And yeah, Saka 15, at, Martin, don't, don't look at us where you get it. Like, don't, 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 <laughs> no, what I'm saying is you, Compare can, with someone you else. can have a striker that doesn't score as many goals if the other four would score 15 each. But that's why I said goal scorer. Saka would get 15 each last season. That's why I said the same goal scorer. That's why I said the goal scorer. I didn't say striker. Yeah. I said they need to go get, yeah, it, but get the, a goal scorer. A goal scorer can't score goals if it's not being provided to him. So maybe we need to improve them. Uh, what's behind them first. I mean, I agree. So you're saying midfield. I'm asking the question. I'm thinking, of course, if we would sign, let's say Ivan Tony is what I'm hearing the most, right? Okay, cool. We signed Ivan Tony. Now I've got Ivan Tony, Jesus, adding Ketia, right? Cool. Ivan Tony finishes the chances, but it still needs to be like made. We have a big issue in that midfield. It's not balanced. It's not working. You can get both, right? If Havertz, and for me, my best midfield is still Havertz in there. And if Havertz doesn't play, Trossard's in there. And I don't think Trossard is a good midfielder. Yeah. So it's like, so it's like we got Havertz or Trossard and left in the mid. Now, I, I, neither of them is working. The, the right issue, now, if at, so if, if we just buy a striker, go, 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 go. our midfield stays out that rest yeah. of the season anyway. Yeah. So yeah. Tony might look crap. But do you I, know, think, I think this January though is so important because if you look last year when you were pushing for that title, yes. the type of January you had, I felt like was very underwhelming with Jorginho and Trossard coming yep. in. Okay, yeah, compared to what they want, Kaiser compared to Mudrick. what yeah, you yeah. wanted, it mm -hmm. didn't follow through. I feel like now you're almost a step back from that. You really this summer or this January, sorry, need to 
I feel like Saka's replacement. How long have you lot been talking about that? Whether it's go and maybe take a low risk on a, a Noosa, a Bakayoko from a PSV. It needs to be someone like that. Yes. Because they can't, they like know they're not going to start. 100%. Gonna yeah, start. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I feel like Saka, left back. Let's not ignore Zinchenko. I'm sorry. You need a left back. Yeah, but Timber is really like, yeah. Are of you course, gonna, yeah. short term, maybe you could yeah. still roll yeah, with it yeah, till yeah. the end of the season. But I feel like there's maybe three or four positions that actually really need addressing at Arsenal. It's mm. just a case of yeah, yeah, what do you prioritize? And if I was to say almost, Sharky, you're going to be Edu mm -hmm. this January. One position. What's the first one you go for? I know mine. I know mine. Left center mid. Yeah. And I'm left laughing. I'm laughing at you, man. I agree, left center mid. I'm laughing at you, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm generally well, they laughing. need more than one. If they right. gave you, you no, more no. than one, I You need both. more than one, but yeah. right now, yeah. in Jan, you don't sort yeah, yeah, out your whole yeah, squad. Yeah, you, exactly, that's what I'm you saying. You work with what you have, so but rather, you get one. I'm laughing. You're looking at the spark plug. Yeah, I'm laughing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're telling me you're getting Maybe it's because I'm a midfielder. I don't know. Here's the thing, too, though, right? Like like you said, you're only going to get one player in January. Maybe two. But the thing is, is that player in January going to be an elite level player? Like, he can be. Elite level, even like top level. Like, striker, I think go get Tony. Like he's an upgrade on what you guys have. But in midfield, are you going to find that? Again, it has to be. A, it, has, it can't just be top quality. It has exactly. to be a perfect fit. Yeah, I mean, it's the, so wait, I hear him. Like, like, yeah, like, uh, striker best. might be easier to find. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. Of course, midfield Tony, defenders, left back. Yeah. You wait. Mm. That, right, that, right, when right, you yeah. do a whole mm, revamp yeah. and right. preseason, no, right. you do that. Right now, it's a striker. You have to get striker. Get a goal scorer. Boom, boom. Someone's just gonna score the goals. The players we have now. So I'm saying they'll provide the goals. Take say, we get Ivan Science. say we got Ivan Tony. Say we got Ivan Tony. Say we got Ivan Tony. He's a proven Premier League striker. Yeah. Twenty goals in his last yeah, yeah. season, right? But the midfield is still how it's going now. You fix that in, in after J July. You fix that in but July. Are we more now. likely to? I, I mean, maybe it improve. He, with Tony, it will improve. I mean, Tony, Tony will change, the, like Tony will change the dynamic of Arsenal as well, too, right? Like what now? No, I'm say, I'm just saying. That's like, what I'm saying. If you can get like an Onana, that's not you're not on that. I mean, he's right now, right now, you don't be, want that we, now. He's closer to Xhaka than we, than we have anyway. You don't want that now, though. <laughs> if it was like Tony or, or Nana, what are you doing? Who are you picking? Tony. I'll take Ivan Tony, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. right now, you focus on striker, the the left back situation, your left center mid situation, sort that out. Oh, I, think, I, think about, I, think I think you're looking as well, too. How does Tony fit into this current iteration of Arsenal? You have to also understand, too, that signing a player like that is going to shift the way you guys play as well, too. Yeah, yeah, and okay, it, maybe you're thinking maybe... The negative, but also it could add a new, uh, what's it called, dimension to Arsenal's attack. It could make you guys a little less predictable. Having now all of a sudden a big target man. Oh, up imagine front, we're going to hold up the ball and, and, and have Tim and Havertz yeah. in a yeah, team. Yeah, hundred percent. So late in the game. Yeah. Ooh. So okay, yeah, he won't be like Jesus. The system will have nah. to change because he's not going to be now all of a sudden popping up in the ten on the right yeah. on the left. But all of a sudden now you guys can go direct. All of a sudden now Saka can kind of play off yeah, Tony. Martinelli can, can make runs off Tony. So give me anyone a saving guess. What about in number field? What about another option? Tom Kearney. Yeah. It was man of the match mm. in this game. I like, yeah, yeah, I like that. Good pull back, good pull back. Nah, but what a game he had, though. Like we didn't talk about Fulham, of course. We didn't talk about Fulham. I, I know it's easy to grow Arsenal, talk about Arsenal. and uh, But we do need to talk about Fulham. What, mm. what a performance for them at home. Um, three former Arsenal players played in that game. Who are Leno, it would be, and Willian. Wow. You had a Oof. former United player. Who, oh, AP? We had a former Liverpool player. AP didn't play. Yeah, yeah. Oh, did he start off a free kick? Yeah. I mean, he didn't start. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Who's I your know. guy? Harry Wilson. Mm. Mm. What are any guys for you guys? Yeah, nah. Go nah. <laughs> yeah, nah. They go play in the championship. <laughs> <laughs> hey, chill, chill. Bournemouth. Adam Smith. <laughs> but 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 Adam let's Smith. let's give let's let's give a little bit to uh to Len, um, to Ful let's give a little bit to Fulham and their and their performance. Big win for them, of course. And the uh, obviously after losing back to back games against Burnley and Bournemouth, uh, it's three in a row actually. Newcastle as well before that in the uh, in the league. Three league losses in a row. Crazy. So to beat Arsenal on New Year's Eve is mm. a, a huge result for them. Anyone Good impress bounce. you? Anything impress you in that game? Raul Jimenez coming back straight away that's, in yeah, and amongst the goals. I think that's what they needed. And the last two games, you kind of saw that when he wasn't there, they were really lacking that kind of killer up front. But having him back in always gives you something. Mm. And then they're called over Reed getting his one. Mm. Gabriel, we see that. But uh, yeah. I was going to yeah. see what, Gabriel. Huh? A little boot flick <laughs> losing your man. Hey, yeah, yeah, about, about one center, I liked Calvin Bassey's performance this weekend, bro. Honestly, like, I thought he was quite good. Well, yeah, this him, week, him and yeah, Tolson yeah, have yeah. actually been a good pair in yeah, yeah. kind of fraps. He was season. somebody from Ajax, right? Like He was kind of like shoved discarded. out. Yeah, discarded. But I think he's been he's been quite good. Especially this game, I thought he was pretty good. Yeah. Anything is his thing alone deal or is he permanent? I think they, I think they I signed him. Yeah, permanent, yeah, yeah. yeah. 20 million, I think yeah, it was. Yeah. Was it 20 mil? Yeah. They got 20 mil back for him. Well, they needed to yeah, after yeah. paying 20 mil. Was it to Rangers? Season. No, I'm surprised yeah. they got 20 mil back. Yeah. <laughs> he had a port. Well, yeah, it was English poor clubs right. are willing to, yeah, you know, fair, 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 fair. they but got a bit of wedge. Yeah, yeah, but they done what needed to be done and helped us. So, but you got the pick up soon. 
No, not in the FA Cup. Well, not FA Cup, Carabao Cup, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm not worried about that. No disrespect. I mean, they scored three at yeah. Anfield last time you saw them. Cute. <laughs> cute. <laughs> All right, Fu is in his bag mm. now, bro. It's hey, cute. top yeah, of the no, table, Fu is back. It's cute. But he's yeah, different no, when he's I'm at the Yeah. yeah. I'm happy I that they- I ain't seen Fu shine like this in, in <laughs> over a year, bro. It's different. Yeah, different yeah, bro. Damn. Yeah. But I'm happy they humbled you guys and put you back to where you guys belong. Do you know what I mean? So like, now at Emirates, the drums and that. Why? No, but the thing is- why? I, I enjoyed Why? it though. I don't know. I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. <laughs> they're, they're good guys. I, I enjoyed it. Yeah, like they're, I enjoyed it. There's, no, the there's no fight, there's nothing. It's a no. nice area. Now we're back, now we're back to what we used to. I enjoyed yeah. being at the top. It was yeah. nice. It's it was nice. nice, it was nice. It. How you like feel year, now? I had like a whole year of happiness. How you feel now? I was I was like that last season. Yeah. How last season you came enough? fifth, bro. That's different. Last season you were bad. Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> the apple doesn't fall no, no, too far like, from the no, tree. No, no, Arsenal but last, no, but last season, Azerbaijan. <laughs> no, no. But last season you finished fifth. You're like ninth, tenth, ninth, tenth, and then you came fifth. Oh. When you oh. blink, <laughs> when you blink, you blink. You man ain't kick ball this year, fam. Listen, let's hey. stick on Fulham, man. It's only fair. They got the win. They got well the home win. Uh, let's They've shocked from, me this season. Yeah, let's hear from Thomas, a Fulham fan. They said, what a win. I said last week that this team missed Jimenez and Willian, but even I did not expect the complete flip mm. in performance levels. From getting run over by two bottom half sides to controlling a game against a title contender at home. Still need reinforcements in January as it would be ignorant to suggest that Willian and Raul would not miss any more games. Paenia, incredible again. If we can keep him until next summer, which I think is more likely than people think, as he extended his contract without a release clause, we can continue to build this team going forward. You think Paini will stay? No. Nah. He's too good for you guys. No disrespect. So he's leaving in January? Nah, nah. Yeah, possibly. Yeah, Bayern might go back in for him, bro. Bayern wanted to buy him in the I summer. They need to win the Champions if League. Liverpool are smart. He, he could elevates help. them. If Liverpool really want that title, that's the way to secure I don't think he's the way to get the title. I don't that's think he's the, the way one. to secure mm. it. He's good, yeah, but he's I don't quality. think he'll like Secure it for us. I think right now we, it's a centre back we need. But really? we'll talk, we'll yeah, talk okay, about yeah, that. Yeah, we'll yeah, talk yeah, about yeah, that. Just quickly on. Um, yeah. I remember you saying the left centre mid. I remember previous episode. I don't know if you was here. What? I suggested uh, Gabriel Jesus. Oh, no. To potentially be, <laughs> and I've I've been seeing chatter on Twitter more recently. Arsenal fans. Yeah. Opening, Jesus and centre mid. Hmm. It's true. After and I'm see. like, hold on, hold on. When I said it, you know, we're all calling me some <laughs> cuckoo crazy man from the other side of North London. <laughs> now it's, ah, uh, you know what? Uh, He's got nah. the touches. I and don't see yeah. it. I don't see it. No? I don't see you it. You can't either, train. Bro. You can't become a central midfielder at the age of 27. Yeah. Like technical ability. He's yeah, of course awareness. he does. Does, does he have the awareness to play? Probably, hold on. Does Jesus have the awareness to play left center mid? It's different level, bro. You could teach it. He's got great players learn. Of He's, He's great players that are able to learn. Nah, man, uh, you, can't, you, can't, you can't just. We have to shake. You can't just become yeah, like. You can't just sit in the <laughs> most. That's a mere time, you can't right? just subscribe to that. <laughs> you can't just go to I the most busiest. Saying. You can't just sit in the busiest position on the pitch yeah. after never playing, like not really playing. It's, it, it, come on. You know what? It I sounds mean, like, I mean, he, he, he picks up a lot of those. Yeah, because he doesn't. But it's different. It's different when you're playing. It's like playing Trent from the start in midfield. He likes to come from right back and kind of drift. What? Like you, when it comes to like Brazilian players. You guys get the short end of the stick. What do you mean? Like from the Nilsson. Yeah. Like you don't get the you don't get William. the good. They, yeah. got, they got Gilberto Watch Silva. Gilberto Silva. A World mean, Cup winner. Right, cool. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. Right, I'll give you right, that. Right. I'll give you that. But then, see, <laughs> after <laughs> Silva, Silvini. They're, they're, the they're the Brazilian. They're the Brazilian cosplaying as a Ukrainian. Yeah. Eduardo. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Croatian, Croatian. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. See, Eduardo, Baptista. Like the, you've, yeah, it's yeah. not. Who do they have? Anyone? No one else. Wellington Silva. Actually, look at this. Wellington Edu, Silva. Edu. Marcelino, <laughs> Donny. You lost. Marquinhos. Marquinhos. That was it. Yeah, Edu. Like you've <laughs> had random very bad. Yeah, you, you, you're, you're, they're on par with Man United. Even Martinelli, you lot just signed him from Serie D. Was it fourth division Brazil? Guys, when it came to Gabriel, Gabriel Magalhães, Gabriel. Paulista, is he Brazilian? Mm, Martinelli, yeah, yeah, he, he is. is. Yeah, yeah. You don't really. It's Gabriel not Paulista. Like Brazil. Mm. Brazil. <laughs> Gabriel Paulista. David yeah. Luiz. <laughs> yeah, about 50 years. Well, you we didn't have the real one. Years too late. <laughs> you didn't have the real one. <laughs> so I'm saying, when it comes yeah, to Brazil, yeah. I think you need to stop this Brazilian team. Yeah, 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 yeah. Brazilians in, in Premier League, though, they don't. Only with you guys do they do their thing. Anywhere else. Oh, City, I guess, too. Coutinho. Like they're they're here. Yeah. It's just Aurelio was nice. don't, they don't get. Aurelio was and a nice one. for City. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's move on right now. Okay, um, and to Liverpool. And I'm sure there's a lot of things about Arsenal you guys want to continue talking about, but we have to move on. I'm sorry. Let's go over <laughs> to Nottingham. 
Nah, nah, let's go to Liverpool. Let's go to Liverpool. I'm telling you, Liverpool let's, is nicer over there, man. Let's go to Nottingham. Let food let glow, man. Nah, we can I can wait. I can wait. Nah, nah, yeah. You can wait. I, I can't wait. wait. I can't wait to talk about Liverpool. We'll, come, we'll get to Liverpool. Yeah, because we will. We will, I will indeed. It's getting tiring now, Lias. I'm tired. Bro, it's getting tired. Like, I'm exhausted. SCS just seems like, bro, for, I don't know now, almost a full year. Or a full year, bro. It's finished. It's just always my United this, my United that. We'll get Levan on one week. You, Abs. And it's like I'm. Get, I don't know what anything new you can say, but you got the you got the win midweek. Hoyland scored a miracle. He was waiting for a miracle. The miracle came. Follow winning goal. Me we are waiting for a miracle. <laughs> miracle. <laughs> I, I think I'm Sean Miller. Hey, his uh, checks are drying up now. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> oh, wait, Hoyland, you might not go in front of the people. <laughs> After being two that you came back. Yeah, yeah. You thought everything was back. Hold on. Normal. No. Hey, uh, hold on. Hey, I thought that fast, did you not fast, this the scrub over. No, the guy who sat next to the no guy who me. the guy who sat in in, in Fuad C last time thought that we're champion of what? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no American accent this time. And then straight after Joker. that, and then straight after that, you went to Nottingham, <laughs> yeah. and uh, business was back to normal. And United lost, um, and Anthony Alanga actually haunted you guys. Best Anthony hey, on the pitch. Yep, best Anthony on the pitch. Should have been. He's on the wrong team. Yeah. On the wrong shirt. Maybe. Listen, um, I mean, what can we say about this game? You've lost nine of your uh, opening 20 matches for the first time since 89-90 season. So, but also that means first time in the Premier League history. You lost nine out of your first 20. That's 50%, just under 50% of your games, not win, not winless, lost. Mm. Zero points from nine out of your first 20. We've lost as many games this year as we've won in all competitions. Wow. This is our worst season post-Fergie. And One most day. goals conceded by an English club. We in have Champions scored League. the third least goals in the league. You still have a minus goal difference. We, we've conceded, we scored more goals than Luton, or scored less goals than Luton. <laughs> On my life, we scored less oh goals. Oh my God, he scored less goals. We have the third least goals in the yeah. league, bro. Oh the my only God, teams 19 that have, goals. The, they all, 22 the only team that has scored less goals than United, and I don't even know if it's true right anymore, Burnley? is Burnley and Sheffield United. Burnley and Sheffield are correct. No. This is why. This, it's this, that damn roof, guys. This, Honestly, no, that damn no, roof, bro. That's why we can't score goals. Have you not realized damn roof. what this club is doing? This club is destroying our friends. Liban is beefing, beefing with a sheikh in Saudi Arabia. <laughs> I saw. Yo, that was crazy. I saw this that. Is, it's, 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 yeah. We're losing our friends because of this club. It's insane. It's Finnish. I don't even think he wants to support my He United ran away anymore. to Sweden. He just wants to become... <laughs> <laughs> look, in Milan, in Milan, but in Milan. One day Christian, one day Muslim. <laughs> <laughs> one, day my, one day my United top. One day no my United top. One day Algerian journalist. One day Algerian journalist. Hey, by the way, before we talk about United, let's give Leas a round of applause for featuring... <laughs> featuring in the Netflix documentary. It's called Captains of the World. My guys. Captains of the World, congratulations, bro. Algerian journalist right here. Yes, sir. He was telling us he's Algerian. Yeah, now yeah. he's officially yeah. Algerian. I've been trying to tell you guys. They didn't believe me. That's what I'm saying. It's official. It's just a confusing state right now. You don't know. I thought he, I didn't even know where he was. I didn't know he was Algerian. He, one day he told me Canada, but Algerian, the next but, but America, but, but, but New but Jersy, the game, but the Connecticut. Talking about, the, the game is talking about documentary is Moroccan. No, it's yeah, a Moroccan it's, game. It's a, it's a mad thing. I got black, I got what it's you want. <laughs> Picking back being bull. Picking back being bull. It was a gang banger with Tyreek and Power back in the day. <laughs> And you know what? Ki you know what I kills me? It's United that's doing that to him, bro. United's doing that to him. Bro, they're giving but me like crazy. I remember <laughs> when he said Ten Hag was gonna be one of the considered one of the greatest manager in the world. At Man Did United. he say that? I didn't say exactly that. I was it was basically that. Mm -hmm. I'm just putting that. Now you said that I'm with him today, so yeah. I'm gonna say bye. Go ahead. And yeah, you're yeah. the host for this game. Yeah. Like I remember, <laughs> he was bigging up Ten Hag when he when when he came. Yeah, facts. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna say Ten Hag. Ten Hag. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Hagen dies. Ha. Yeah, little Hagen dies. You <laughs> put <in> his head. <laughs> like, like, no, th this is not a manager to me. Yeah. This is not. You can't bring someone from the from name me a successful manager that's come to the Prem from the Dutch straight away and been successful as a manager. A manager. Name me. Name me. I don't think a manager that come from Holland straight to England. Saying, yeah. straight from name a, a manager that's won plates and successful in the in the Prem. It's two different things. But name me. It doesn't work like that. It does. It's. It's. Imp yeah. It doesn't work like that. This Ten Hag guy, he is destroying this. It's trust me. I'm telling you now. From t you know when I deep. You know when I really clocked it when he's in. This guy's no good for this thing. But I'm happy he's there. Of course, yeah. yeah. I'm not. So I, am I. As I don't want fan. him to leave. I'm happy he's there. But I'm just. I want my United to wake up and smell the coffee because yeah. you're not smelling. The coffee. Hey, I'm wide awake, bro. <laughs> Once you get rid of a player like Cristiano Ronaldo and blame him for his attitude, this guy, we don't. I don't know him personally. For us, not have that point. No, that no. hurt. <laughs> when it comes to football, Ronaldo 
got the best attitude when it comes to football. Okay. This, this sport on the pitch, yeah. on the pitch, but off the, the pitch, even off the pitch, on the pitch, off the pitch. When it comes to attitude, you cannot dis. As a winner, like winner, Cristiano yeah. Ronaldo, and for you to say, get Ronaldo is bigger than Ten Hag, bro. Ren- Ronaldo That's should true. be the one to say, Ten- you get out of this club. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, Facts. I, I, well, to be fair, what are you going to say? To be fair, someone like Ronaldo, sh- to tell him to warm up and not bring him on is crazy, man. It's Cristiano Ronaldo, man. This is what you I'm can't saying. do that, man. You disrespected the Ronaldo the should goal. get a little bit of a... Uh, it's Ronaldo. For what he's we'll done. never... We'll, in our lifetime, we might never you see a player like Ronaldo or Messi again. You, do you get yeah, yeah, the two? Not, yeah, they're yeah. considered two, the two goats type of thing. Yeah, yeah. We might never I see that. Like, again. This is a bigger topic than Ronaldo. No, 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 no. But this is what I'm saying. Yeah, this yeah. is where the ten hard. Let's see where it's going. Let's this is where it started. This is where it started. I'm broken. I have nothing else to say. He done that. Sancho came out the hood. He was in Kenya. He could have been a gambanger. He could have been a GM. He could have been a music video. He yeah, could have yeah. been a drill artist, fam. Yeah. And he came like, out the hood. He worked hard. He said, I don't want yeah. this for my Walk life. I want to be a professional footballer. Yeah. He sent him to the mountains and finished him. This is sad. Yeah. Ten Hag is destroying these young black men, fam. He's destroying. <laughs> no, no, Ronaldo. Is a, where's Ronaldo, he, black man? He, he, Ronaldo, Ronaldo's smart. Yeah. Yeah. The best thing Ronaldo did yeah. was to go to Piz Morgan yeah. and speak the truth. Yeah. It's the biggest thing. That's the best thing he did. Ten Hag, I, I've been telling man, when I say the pitch is too big, it's not a joke, fam. He cannot do this Premier League thing. Mm. It's Man United. I'm happy though. Of course. But I'm just, I just want these guys to know because- hey, I'm with you. They're not, I they're, agree. They're not, you agree now? No, but- uh, You, you fair, agree now? Fair, no, Why but, now? Oh, we should have agreed before. If Man United fans agreed before, they wouldn't be in this position. Well, wait, how's they, were, they have control of who yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> no, they, they have Fans got control of football. Well, I can just ring. Uh, uh, you think Sharky is not one of the main reasons why Wenger's gone? Whoa! <laughs> yeah, you, keep going. Keep going. Whoa. That's straight, bro. I'm never gonna get out. Keep going. Straight, bro. No, no, you think no. now they love him? Now they they adore Wenger. Can't be on the They want to spoon him. Yeah. They they love him. We yeah. always have. He's literally he's like, at, the time, oh, history, at the time. At the time, I hate this old man. I remember. I can't wait when his pension comes in. Awesome I can't out. wait when yeah. he retired. I won't part of that. I won't part of that. Okay. You can find, go search anything you want. But okay, Sharky won't part of that, but it was like, of course, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, cool. I did that, no. I, I, I was, I'm looking, you know what? You know why I said that? Because I'm looking for the end of year. The, the funny moment. Oh. <laughs> I want that to be in it. If you I, don't think about was it, tomorrow, I, yeah, yesterday. Yesterday. I'm tomorrow yeah. So now when they put it, Sharky won it, Wenger, boom, that's in there, do you get? But as I'm not gonna saying, get that spreading lies. <laughs> it's, I mean, people do it. it does, <laughs> lying sometimes helps the situation. <laughs> but this is what I'm trying to say is, yes. what I'm trying to say is, this guy is no, he's single-handedly alongside with the owners destroying the club, bro. Mm. He's no good. And they're seeing it now. And this is what upsets me. I've been trying to tell you lot from before. It's yeah. like, as I said, do you remember the analogy when I said, Faisal can't go Mexico. He has to start off in Ibiza. He has to start off in Napa. Mm. Faisal needs to go Napa yes. and and, <laughs> and, and, and find Gal there. The, Abs and Faisal they can't go to Cancun straight away. Yeah. It'll, be, it'll be they'll get a headache. Yeah. It's too much going on. Overwhelming. 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 They'll be like, nah. They don't have a girl. They'll be like, I miss my girl. Yeah. They don't have a, they're not in a relationship. <laughs> they're not in a relationship. <laughs> this is what I'm trying to say. So with Ten Hag, this is the same situation. You went straight to Napa. This is, yeah, fully. this club is not Fully. for him. He well, should yeah. go go to because now he Eintracht Frankfurt. He destroyed stuff. himself now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No yeah. one, no big club wants to touch this guy. No, no one. I'll, I'll be if he comes to, I'll be scared. A club on that level. Can I, perfect, can I say this though? Right, I, I yeah. Ten Hag, yes, I wanted it. Ten Hag has is is actually dropping these standards of Manchester United. Like he's actually well, dropping. The standards them. were already low. But he's dropped them even lower. I cannot believe I'm even saying that because people are really not deeping how bad the season is. Like Lee Ban comes onto this onto the show and like he talks about United struggles and oh we're repeating a cycle. It has never been this bad, bro. This is worse than under Ali. This is worse. This this season is worse than David Moyes' season. It's worse than Jose Mourinho's last season. It's worse than Louis Van Gaal's last season. This season is a disaster, bro. And it's after four hundred million pounds spent. Mm-hmm. It's never been this bad in the second year at Man United, bro. Second year we had Mourinho doing a title challenge, title challenge if you want to call it that. Ali doing a title challenge. It's it's actually we've conceded seventh Liverpool. We can see it's six to City. We can see it's four to Brentford. We can see it's four to three to Brighton at home. We've lost three not to Bournemouth at home. We're getting smacked up by every single team that plays against yeah. us. And we have guys saying, oh, just trust the cycle. Uh, ride, not, ride the storm. No, 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 Wait what? till the next owners to come in. I'm being so serious, bro. No, but, if we stick with Eric Ten Hag, I promise you the team will continue to get worse because yeah. recruitment is absolutely garbage. 
And the style of play is not getting any better, bro. I, I can't watch this team anymore. In terms of style of play, we are boring as hell to watch. We don't score goals. We don't keep them out. Every facet of the football pitch, we are struggling in. This guy has to go, bro. And I said it last week. You can talk about ride the storm, ride the storm. The first decision that Jeremy Radcliffe will seriously make is getting this guy out of here, bro. It's simple as that. I think, though, with Lee Brown, what he was statement. saying with the ride the storm thing wasn't that he doesn't disagree with a lot of what you're saying. He actually agrees with a lot of it, but he's just saying he wants to almost break the cycle of... Break it with someone now, else. Break the cycle say, of somebody else, bro. Break the cycle of a different manager. This manager is not right for this club, bro. Okay, so let's, let's say you sack Ten Hag right now. Yeah. Who, who walks in for that, you? That's the, only, that's the only thing that I, I'm not so sure about. Ah, I'm not a huge fan. No, no, but that's, that has nothing to do with Ten Hag. That has nothing to do with Ten Hag. You can't now it's, all of a sudden make decisive course. actions without not knowing what no, 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 next. That's, that's why I said it doesn't... For me, I've, I've been saying for time that the season is done. You can keep, like, you can keep Ten Hag. You can hire an interim. For me, it doesn't yeah. matter. I'm thinking, but as soon as there is a top-level manager out there... Oh, get this guy out but of that, here, but, but that's 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 Liban's right. No, 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 no. Liban yeah. Le- 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 is literally Le- saying, Le- Le- don't Le- sack Le- this Le- manager. Le- no, no, no. Liban wants to see Because last week I asked him specifically, what is it? Why are you why are you mm. riding on this Ten Hag hill? He's like, no, it's not. He goes, I just don't want the cycle of we sack a manager now, a new guy comes in, he gasses us for half a season, we all get in behind, and then next season it's the same cycle no, I, over I, again. I, yeah. If right now you let Ten Hag ride out, let's say the takeover happens, you start making a few moves in January or whatever, but you at least get players in place where even if Ten Hag is gone, those players are still going to be useful, like a Tadebo, for example. Me, me you personally, know, and I don't think it's even going to happen. I think they've already said they, they're only going to allow United to have two loans this summer. Because In oh. fact, Jeremy Akhlef is not oh. f- officially in, bro. Like, I think there's still like a, a probation period where he has to come in, basically. I think it's a, like five weeks. So what did you not put that tweet out for? Because I feel like he's effectively like it, it's it's a it's official, but it's not official official. Dude, Jim, the so Jim, man, yeah, man yeah. officially unofficial. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, he's not. He's Kinda not. He's not, he's not allowed. <laughs> I think he's, there's a probation period of five weeks where he's not allowed to actually make any actual decisions. Oh. Eric, Ten, Eric, Eric, that's what I'm saying. Eric Ten Hag for me, okay, he stays the rest of the season or not. That really doesn't concern mm-hmm. me anymore because the season is over, bro. No matter who you bring in. But in terms of giving this guy more signings, in terms of letting this guy see, oversee another window, overseeing long-term futures, I'm over it, bro. I, I, oh, I'd we like saw to see today it that when you else. leave, when you leave a tumor in your in your in your body for <laughs> for, for too long, what happens yeah. to you? It grows, you die. This is what's ha- they they. I'm, I yeah, agree. They open heart surgery. I agree with him. You need to get rid of Donny, bro. Mm. Like for real. It, gone, once Donny's he gets gone, to yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he, he, he left, he, he left, left, he left. Donny's gone. No, no. Oh, oh, okay. Got me. You need to get rid of the man. The corny ass joke he made in the cup, bro. Leave that shit the fool and leave that, bro. That was one of his lines. Bad jokes, bro. That's why I generally like that. I was like, oh, okay. Sometimes you need to take necessary action now because if you mm. leave it too late fam nobody a it top like they world they class they manager wouldn't even want to go there bro like, look at the That's players bro. it's players the little are not things play for this guy. it's you, the little things that need to be not, off the field stuff need to be changed first mm-hmm. you get it's yeah. the little fa- tiny things that we don't care about of like course. what Ronaldo was screaming like from the yeah. the, care, the, yeah. the, the the dinner jacuzzi, ladies, the, the, the jacuzzi, the shower curtains, yeah. it's got molds. These little things need to be changed first. Yeah, create, to get first atmosphere. and foremost. Create good atmosphere. Let, like, do you know what I mean? Like stuff like that needs to change and you need to do that immediately, bro. Because I'm I'm being real, I'm having fun where, seeing this. Where do United go for, from here next? Because you've gone down the club legend route. You've gone down the big name Jose route. You've gone down the David Moyes, the chosen one. Like every almost archetype of manager, I feel like you guys have selected. Yeah, they, even, like even, even, Ragnick, now, even Ragnick was seen Ragnick as like, was a, like, teacher, a, yeah, like a teacher. Like a teacher. teacher. Then you brought oh. the, <laughs> the, the you Remember? Got, Ragnick! Lock, <laughs> got <a> teacher in <laughs> yeah. that! Joke, man! This, this is horrible! Uh, the the man got a director yeah. of sports. It's, it's, they got a, yeah. a director to manage. He directs films, fam. And you know who didn't want to work? He with Tom Hanks and that. You know who didn't? Me to come coach, get out of here! Now you know, you know, you know who didn't want to who didn't want to work with Ranić by the way. It was Ten Hag who didn't yeah, want to work with Ranić. He said, he said guys yeah, are talking about, guys yeah. are talking about let's see Ten Hag under a proper recruitment <laughs> strat- structure and with someone else being. There. He doesn't want that. Yeah. Yeah. He's the one who wanted all the power, bro. It's crazy because yeah. I'm wondering like where do United go after this? So let's say even hypothetical Ten Hag gets let go at the end of the season because yeah, yeah. the season. You don't have to say his name. You don't have to say his name. But like what type? No, like what type? I agree. What type of manager? Like he said, he just named you. You've tried everything. Thing, right, you tried like the legendary <laughs> managers that won like you tried this guy. What forget about names because we don't know who's available. What type of manager or head coach or whatever do you think your club needs to get you guys back to the promised land? Let, let me let me say this first of all. Yeah, we, wait, 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 sorry, before you say that, yeah, sharks, 
Man United fans, I'm gonna be. Let me let me tell you something, guys. Yeah, they can't answer that question. I can because the the, <laughs> the, the, the it, it's too the, it's operation. Yeah. We need more than just a manager. It's true. We need so like if you ask someone that question, so what manager would you want? Oh, I want someone like this. But I want do, 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 I want do, do. Man United. They can't answer that because it's more than just a manager. Answer, look, but then look, watch this. What manager? He said, what type of manager? He didn't ask me what manager. No, no, no. What type of manager? Can I answer it? Yeah. I want somebody that plays attacking football, like positive attacking football, but also has the charisma and the personality to take over a club this size. Because I think for a club like United, Liverpool, City, Arsenal, you need to be more than just a tactician. I've always mm-hmm. said Ten Hag for me is not a bad coach. I'm sure he can go somewhere else and have great success there. But to manage co- uh, clubs at this level, you're in charge of more than just the 11 on a match but day. You're in, the the club. Club. Yeah. you're in charge of the culture at a club. You're in charge of the youth academy coming through. You're in charge of the entire footballing operation. Mm-hmm. If you ask me to say a name, I would say Spurs' coach. I would love Ange Postecoglou at, at Manchester United. This is when... Not- <laughs> Cam said the Zerbi. Yeah, Cam said the Zerbi. Woo! No. Hey, your <laughs> club is done. Why are you Maybe. Because I can't believe this. What? I can't believe this. Man saying I would love Ange to come. Yeah, I'd hey, love Ange at United. No, no, bad, bro. no, no. Yeah, yeah. I, I, he's a cool. He, he's cute. Ted Lasso. Mate, mate. Ted Lasso. 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 He's silly, bro. <laughs> no, nah, no. But he's Ted Lasso. This guy is Ted Lasso. <laughs> like I don't think he knows what's going on. Like I think nah, he just sits there bro. and the kit man. <laughs> we know the kit man. The <laughs> no, the kit man for Tottenham. We got him on IG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He tells well, Steve, well, IG Steve, 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 <laughs> Steve tells Ange all the details of what's going on. Yeah, that yeah, he's a good he was good, but Kane didn't like him. Right, so yeah. they're not gonna start he him, did you get? Insight. Yeah. Steve tells him <laughs> everything. <laughs> but like Leas, I'm sorry, but like from time you're saying Ange, like I like Ange, but he's just an example. This example. is not good for this is Manchester no, but, but United. Man, Man United. This is not Yeah, but that's that's, that's You a, are not that's Luton. A, that's a tired phrase to be honest. What what does we are Manchester United mean anymore, bro? History is part of football. History, yeah, history is part of football. I, I Look hear, at the top I, you're wearing. Look that. at the top you're wearing. I, I hear that. Twenty ten. I hear that. It's I hear history. That. I hear that, bro. Hundred percent. But eventually you have to move past your history, bro. Like the, you, what? We're gonna just continue living on what we were 10, 15 years ago. No, bro. but you're still giant, bro. You're still so, so what, what? We're so, giant. Who club. would you want? Look, so you're saying history. What does that mean then? What, who should match United Listen, go after next four, attack? Do you know, I don't what, wanna, you, 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 know, know what you describe? Thomas You describe Klopp. Absolutely. Charisma, absolutely, attacking absolutely. for Absolutely. I look at I look That at appointment Klopp. of Klopp, so you need something like that. Jurgen Klopp should have been the guy United hired perfect, post yeah. 100%. They describe, he described Klopp. Yeah. Klopp, yeah, and it's, we're going to live for anyway. How dare you? How dare you? Huh. Both of you as well. You both sit on this table. What? You said this guy is finished. Mm. You said Klopp is done. <laughs> Klopp is done. Aye. And now you're talking about my manager's got charisma. Talk. He's charisma. Aye. You said this guy is done. Let's go. <laughs> Don't ever Get disrespect him. Big Yeah. yeah. Big yeah. 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 They said this guy is done. Arteta's better uh-huh. than him. Huh? Yeah. He's got a small wood. Like you Ooh. said everything bad about this guy. Oh. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. He was the one that said that. that. <laughs> <laughs> the TV came You got something to say? You got something to say to me? Huh, Gary? You got something to say? Speak. <laughs> no, man, don't kill me. Uh, but, um... But yeah, I mean, listen, you're right. You're right. I want to hear his answer. No, no, you're no, saying You're saying you're like, Manchester United. You're Manchester United. Who should Manchester United then go after? Manchester United. Okay, okay uh, you, you, you go through. You, you have to hit people like Luis Enrique. You have to Luis get Luis Enrique. Yeah. So I should want my ex. You should get United. people like these guys, I'm bro. Good off winners, Luis Enrique, bro. winners, winners. Huh? winners. Huh? I Thomas Tuchel, yes, yes. A lot of boxes, but Tom, Thomas Tuchel had to, yeah, hundred percent. But Thomas Tuchel also had to go at different clubs first before he ended up getting to to, to PSG. He, he went from what Mainz to Dortmund to PSG to Chelsea. That's to a Bayern. real manager. Yeah. That's no. spirits. Uh, everything. Hundred percent. Absolutely. Hundred percent. But with these things, but the, you know what is what, what's mad as well? Man, these managers probably don't want to go Man United, bro. But that's what I'm saying. hundred percent. With Thomas Tuchel, so like, look, I'm gonna take Arteta for example. It's his first job. And again, Arteta is not now the benchmark for all managers. No, like he has uh, his own it's concerns. Hundred percent. But he didn't have to have vast experience. I'm talking about certain individual qualities that qualify you to manage a club this big. I love Emery. And I, I've said so many times, Arsenal fans need to get over Emery. Like, I think they, they talk about him way too much. Every mistake that he makes, oh, look what he did at Arsenal. But I, I'll be the first person to say, I don't think Emery had what it takes to take over Arsenal mm-hmm. in the moment that they were in immediately post Wenger. I don't mm-hmm. think that was his kind of job. He could go at different jobs where he'd excel more than Arteta, like Villa. I don't know if Arteta does the same job. Level. But that job needed a specific kind of manager. Manchester United are absolutely similar. And I think Ten Hag is... A guy that can go over and take a, a, an already established club, a club yeah. that already has a youth academy that's pumping through players, a club that just needs a tactician. Mm-hmm. But a club like Man United needs more than just a coach. And I don't think he's more than just a coach, to be honest. Oh, nice. There you go. Can well, we no. talk about Nottingham Forest? 
Yeah. I was going to say, can Morgan, Morgan Gibbs White? Gibbs White. And Alanga. Hey. That's a player you need. That's a Manchester United player if I've ever seen one. Man United fan, did you see him as well after the game saying, uh, or before the game saying Rooney was his favorite player of all time and he Could modeled have. his game around skulls? See? And then obviously Elanga doing what he's doing. But I think Gibbs White, that was the game where I felt like he was getting back to almost last season's levels. Yeah. Start of the season, I, I felt yeah. like he was playing a little bit hot and cold, but that was almost like an authority game. And I like the little spin move he did on oh, Barad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if he continues, like, if he, he was can, getting heads right. Are we ready to finally creating. see him at that big club? Because obviously he came from Wolves. <clears throat> he played for Sheffield United uh, on loan, obviously <clears throat> in Championship. That's what it takes to play. Yeah, yeah. Now, is it time? Like, well, how long left? When how long you, left? When you he look goes? at the way he's kind of adapted to Nottingham Forest and the way he's taken responsibility there, I think he's shown the mentality that he can step it up again, in my opinion. Because what was he, a squad player at Wolves, basically? Yeah, yeah, on never, the bench yeah. coming off getting minutes here and Oldest? there and they 23 they spent <coughs> ridiculous money gave him the number 10 and essentially what Lingard really and was supposed to be when they signed him he said get out of here bro your last year's news and mm. really cemented himself as one of the prime creators Gibbs, of the Gibbs Gibbs the top he has to I think enough. someone that's someone like us don't waste 40 mil on Conor Gallagher please please oh, don't fans. get Gibbs White oh, you guys as well I think everyone should try again. So he has to jump in that plane. Similar like the Madison situation where he could yeah, yeah. fit in for a yeah, lot yeah. of teams, yeah. but teams I, I feel like will lack and just think, uh, nah. Mm. You guys, yeah, could do it. It's a crown jewel no, for him. I don't yes, think they'll you let well. him They need paid to, a lot I always money. think players that would do well for you guys do well for you. I, I always see Spurs well, like, well, as, well, a, as, a, as a mini United. I always have. Yeah. I've always seen Spurs yeah, as like, yeah, as like United's little brother. Always. So players that I think would suit you guys, I think would always suit and vice versa. Disrespect. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I yeah, said yeah, yeah, a mini yeah. United. I said a mini United. Look, see, that's a good level. He can never do that to me. I just said he can level. never say to my club and 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 put and say you something. Guys are you, guys are like, you guys are like we're 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 like a mini Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich. And you know the thing is, we used to be. We, they used to say <laughs> we were a mini Real Madrid. Exactly. They well, used to say about United. No, they hundred percent. Listen, they used to say we were a mini Real Madrid. We're like the Real Madrid. Hundred percent. No, no, no. That's good. That's good. Now he's saying Tottenham and Wild. Hold on. It's absolutely mini hypes, man. You guys be yourself. You guys used to. What's bad about saying they're mini them? I don't get it. I just, I'm just playing some United, but that's not what's important right now. They lost tonight. It's like what gives why. Talk about Forest. He needs to Germany. He needs to be on that plane. To Germany. Really? Oh, Euros. Oh, okay. If he continues the way he's going, I think so. But like, I have it's, it's sad, but I don't have hope in deep players like him because he's not in front. He's not gonna go. It's sad. Or you it? think he's gonna stay at Forest? No, no, no. In terms of like not getting picked to go. And, oh like, yeah, we've seen yeah, it happen plenty of times. Because there's, there's, there's place for Forest. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Nah, to be if fair, I think Southgate's done well in terms mm. of I, I don't don't players so, who do, not just top six teams, no. I don't uh, think so. Look, Gre Greel Grealish really had to be playing out of his skin. And then even then, he only started Cal playing Cal for Cal England. Cal look, Cal look, Phillips. look at the position he played. He was one, actually. Look yeah, that's a valid plays, show. Foden, look where he Madison, yeah. and you've got Cole Palmer breaking through the I didn't seat. say start, though. I'm saying on the plane. No, yeah. but that's three there. That's yeah, yeah, but one he, of them starting, two of them are on bench. Yeah, he needs to be on that plane. Whether... I'm not saying... Would him you take him, take him or Ward Pross to the It's more him or Cole Palmer, I think. Really? Palmer more on the right, no? I think I think mm. it's between him and Cole Palmer. Oh, that's kind of like that extra guy. Like yeah. they're, they're gonna yeah, play, yeah. but like Madison, I feel like is gonna be. How the yeah, and if it's between Palmer and and, and uh, what's how, his name? Gives away. I'm sorry, like whether 21? you agree or not, uh, Palmer's going over Gives away. Yeah, like that's if you're Southgate's gonna pick yeah. Palmer that's over Gibbs away, yeah, especially when you see Chelsea. And I think, and I think, and I think yeah, that's what I'm saying. And when you play for a club that's got a big name, yeah, it's because he plays for Chelsea. Not saying that he doesn't deserve to. So like, yeah, he if he if he wants to. He needs Connor to Gallagher make maybe. make a good move. He'll probably go too. Gallagher will go. Yeah, Gallagher Gallagher will probably go, go yeah, too. As one, of the, as one of the central midfielders. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, but yeah, I mean, listen, you guys, Rashford finally scored off a mistake from Zach Turner. <laughs> Playing up front as well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Look, for me, there's there's one guy that I keep going back to in this team, and he didn't even start this game, but every time McTominay plays, I, I, have, <laughs> I, have, I, have, less and, I have less and less <laughs> he sympathy. Didn't start. Yeah, and look, he didn't, hold on, he didn't, hold on, he, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He didn't start, he didn't start. It was nil-nil when he came on, and both goals were his fault. How about that? How about that? Yeah, there was replaced. no, bro. Copy the Gibbs White goal, he just like. It's, 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 copy oh, and the guys, and this is what I was telling Abs the other week. He's like, oh, I was like, I have no sympathy for a coach who continues playing McTominay as much as he does. He's like, oh, can, can you understand? I said, absolutely not. I can't understand, bro. There's a million other players I'd like to see in that position. The yeah. guy's a passenger, man. The guy's an absolute actor. I've never, uh, you talk about Anthony in terms of players I dislike. McTominay is right up there, man. Honestly, next manager, he has to be one of the first guys that gets off this team. Why did he make that halftime change? Because my, the, my new one. Because he's lost the plot. Ten, Ten Hag has no idea what he's doing anymore, bro. Honestly, I feel like every game he's trying to like scrap together a game plan that can kind of get up. It reminds me of Ollie the last few 
the last few weeks of his tenure where he's kind of just like throwing shit at the fan and hoping something sticks. Mm. That's what he's doing. And McTominay is like his ultimate guy that he hopes he can just rely on, yeah. grab us a goal. By the way, McTominay has scored in one game and I think in the last nine. So he's not even this crazy goal threat that people portray him to be. And he's not six. No, <laughs> no, no not at all. He and, he, and in fact, he plays McTominay sometimes even more forward and actually brings Bruno back, which actually, I'm not a huge fan of Bruno, but it hurts his creative game. Yeah, yeah cool. Let's talk about briefly, like obviously Anthony Alanga, I mentioned him at the start of this. Mm. He's got twice as many assists as any United player has in the Premier League this season. He has six assists already. Do your thing, bro. Like, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I, I get happy when Very, I see players yeah. leave, uh, sorry, sorry, go, no, to right, leave yeah. a player, to leave a team where they're not really respected enough and they go off and do, like mm. Solanke, another yeah, one for Bournemouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm so happy seeing, Yeah, we, I know you, you, the, your, your qualities and now you're showing it in, in these, like it's, it's mm. sick. And so credit to him. Really sure. good interview as well. Like really well spoken to Anthony Lanka when he got asked about obviously what it's like um, leaving Man United, playing for Nottingham Forest. Obviously, he spoke about the differences between Steve Cooper and another thing I want to speak about. Obviously, Nuno Santos. Yeah. How good of how how good of a start he's having. Yeah. Um. Obviously, Langer spoke really well, and obviously, he spoke about how how much it means to be to be his former employer. Obviously, I don't think you're losing any sleep that you've lost to Langer. And no. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that you're just you're happy for him. I am happy for him. But I said that on last week's podcast. I think, and we always talk about this. Me and you, Sharks, is yeah. that environment is so key in football. Mm-hmm. Like. All of these guys at this level, okay, you have the elites like Messi, Ronaldo, and uh, we get that. But yeah. in terms of like, if you're a Premier League player, you are a good footballer. Like these guys, if you put them in Sunday League, they're going to look like Messi, bro. So to get the best out of them, I always feel like it's confidence and it's rhythm. So when you're in a good uh, environment where the manager believes yep. in you and your team believes in you and you're yeah. in good rhythm, you're playing every single week, you're getting good chances, the fans are, are kind of clapping you, uh, applauding you and all that stuff. You're going to be in a good zone, bro. You're going to be in, what, what do they call it? It's like um, this mindset, basically. I can't remember the exact word for it, but you're in a mindset where everything is starting to come off. Mm-hmm. Flow state. The flow yeah. state. That's exactly yeah. the word right there. He's in that flow state. So yep. I don't think it would have worked out at Manchester United. Also, that's a, that's a whole other kettle of fish. Playing in that environment is crazy. The expectation and all that stuff. Yeah, and you're getting like 10 minutes at the end. You can't yeah, make an impact. You can't make an impact. 10 minutes at the end, 10 minutes at the end. That's not the say I would have kept him, but no, I'm course. happy to see him there. And for me, it's not a huge surprise. Like you look at him, he had all the physical capabilities to be a good Premier League winger. And now he's even starting to add a bit of like composure. In front yeah, of goal. those through yeah, balls yeah, yeah. in. Like, that's, it's the flow state. Like I said, he's just trying things that he wouldn't have tried before. That pass for the goal, he doesn't make that at United. His brain is probably thinking, oh, should I dribble? Yeah. Do I want to pass? What yeah. if the manager gets on my back? Here, he's confidence, confident, bro. Best PE hundred percent. I'm telling you, a hundred percent. Um, uh, yeah. Let's talk about. Uh, well, let's let's hear from some Forest fans. We've got Forest Gump. Uh, we've got Paris Sky. <sighs> Forest Gump says turnover throughout the match was a mess and gave them the most chances. Uh, to be <sighs> honest, great build-up play from us to score our first, exploiting Ten Hag, taking off Mino. Uh, it was absolute domination from our midfield since then. It was a physical rampage. Sloppy from Turner to let them score, but then Gibbs White's finish. Oh my, what a player. Uh, superb from him. Great from Niakate and Marino to all game. Uh, same goal, we scored twice. Not sure whose fault it was on their side, but I've watched United a few times this season and have conceded edge of the box goals loads. I'm glad Nuno picked up on it. Yeah. You know, maybe that's what something they focused yeah. on. It looks like it. they scored the same goal twice. That's uh, good managerial, to be fair. Uh, Paris Sky also says the Dominguez um, deserved that goal today. He's been playing on top form recently, and of course, hats off to Gibbs White. Really has become our star player since Brennan Johnson's exit. I think Southgate should be calling him up uh, in the summer. Uh, lastly, last week on SDS, you were all commenting on Matt Turner. He did very well to have saved a couple of shots for Man United had on target. He really does deserve some credit, especially as you guys love to big up Man United and the level of skill the players show. For me, Turner. Would it be man the match for me? Yeah, hold on. No, I disagree. That's not, I disagree. On, the, goal, the goal was literally his but, fault. But, 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 but the winning goal, Morgan gives right, came from Matt Turner's save. Valid. It started from Matt Turner's save. I remember that. I was I more confused. That. He's saying, well, you guys always talk about United's players' skills. <laughs> yeah. What table is this? <laughs> her, her take. Paris is a female. Uh, no, no, but she, they were, uh, she, okay, my fault, excuse yep. me, Paris, yeah, hers, but mm. she was saying that this this table likes talking oh, about United School players, oh. maybe when Liban is on, yeah. bro, <laughs> not here. Um, um, and lastly, she says, really hope Liban is on this week's episode, yeah, as he's mm. always had so much to say on Man United being too good for Forrest. <laughs> oh, there you go, Liban's not here, but I'll People, pass yeah, the message yeah, yeah. on, I'll pass the message on. Uh, let's move on now to our third key fixture, third and final key fixture of the, of the game week, and then after that, we'll obviously speed through all the other games. Uh, obviously, we'll talk about it properly. But our third and final key fixture is <sighs> Liverpool versus Newcastle on Anfield. The highest XG <laughs> that we've seen. It was, I, it was ever. ever. Is that ever. ever, ever. Wow. Was, in Premier League history. Yeah. And this is more XG, high XG than your 9-0 win against Bournemouth. Seven, that yeah. XG. Is it 7.52? <laughs> you yeah. have, have you ever had, have you men had an eye test? I've never seen, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. an eye test. That's yeah. what eye tests look like. Yeah. 
That's what eye tests look like. Mm. Your left so, eye. Well, then, is it could be since bad thing because nine. obviously, like, I mean, Darwin Nunes <laughs> had the highest XG of any player without scoring a goal. And I, game, I, I, so. you lot can cuss him, do what you want. What a bum. I don't. I don't. I generally don't have to hear what you man say. I don't care because I don't care. this is a guy. <laughs> where, where you guys call him a bum, call him this, call him that. He will leave with a with a medal this season. Dancer. Yeah, and him. But listen, the it, was seven point. The was seven point one to zero point six, and he won four two. Fantastic. Actually, sounds nice, but that means come on. You can see the two from a dead. Yeah, sharks, front, sharks. Listen, listen. We are top of the league. You are. We beat Newcastle United. You did. Yeah. Darwin Nunes, uh, I believe, assist. is he go or assist every 96 minutes. For me, that's good for Darwin Nunes, bro. That <laughs> good, wow. good for eight minute striker. <laughs> for, for as of as of now, as, as of, of now, he's doing that. Season, you lot are not seeing. I get it. His job is to score goals. He might not be scoring goals now, but he's helping the team out, fam. So so it's Jesus again. So it's he's not Jesus because look where you man are. Look where we are. <laughs> look where we are. <laughs> we were just above you, you the other week. It's like nothing. It's, it's come on. <laughs> look like. how the tables turn. <laughs> look how the tables turn. <laughs> You yeah, were just right. above us the other day. <laughs> what about now? <laughs> what about now? You're talking about you're talking old news, 2023. And then, and then we're the month, 2024, and then the month, it's a new different thing. What happens a month from now if we're above you? <laughs> but you're not right now. <laughs> <laughs> you're not right now. Let's talk about now. I don't no, talk about... Let's talk about now. Let's if, not talk about... Not, what not about this? this what about that? Let's right. not talk about this game. The first... We watched it together. Myself, Fuad, and Leas, actually. We watched it together. And I'm glad you witnessed um, this. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was, it was, a, it was a great performance. and Fantastic. One player, Great. one player we particularly enjoyed watching was Luis Diaz. Neymar, Neymar, who? Neymar. No, Luis Diaz. Luis Diaz, but he plays like Neymar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I wouldn't say I'm that. so happy. He he's happy. His dad should be happy. Everyone around him should be happy, nice. fam. Nice. The, this is the, the because as of late, the Diaz I've been witnessing it wasn't Luis Diaz. Mm. This Diaz I see him taken beating the man. Yep. I don't like. He, he I wasn't really. Mm. He wasn't, he wasn't playing. Like he was, yeah, yeah, he, he was, wasn't. Yeah. He wasn't. He did, and I was thinking to myself, "Ah, oh, this must be due to the injury mm. for me because I didn't see it strict." For, remember when he's with his whole father? Yeah. I was. I was in the locked-in house, so I didn't really see his performances in that. But for me, it's I was seeing it way before. Then, last minute. Yeah, right? I was seeing it way before that. That this wasn't the same Diaz. But I'm happy that Newcastle. This is the old Lewis Diaz we saw, and like, hopefully, that can rebuild his confidence of saying, "You know what? Maybe I can do this again." Maybe my, my, my knee when I saw that little no look pass. I was like, my boy is back. He's back. My boy is back. He's back. And I think we need to give an, a, a, a massive, massive credit to Joe Gomez for me personally. Oh, yeah. left seeing back. him a left back. He's is locking like a, up wingers. A man. new re- yeah. reform. Like I was thinking. To get his first goal desperately. Oh, once, yeah, so desperate. when 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 Saka tried to kill uh, Simikas and he tried to kill him, <laughs> he should be in jail. <laughs> when he tried to get I him and break his collarbone, I was thinking this is no Robo, no Simikas. And now they're bringing Gomez to play left back. Mm. And Wait, well, defensive but 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 to be fair though, to be fair though, that like right foot left back against an inverted winger is, is is such a good thing. Like it, it works all the time. It even, go, even going forward, he's playing quite well. If you're a winger, if you're a left winger, like for example, who's left wing for them? Gordon. I'm, but inside. I'm not even talking about the Newcastle Go- game. I mean, and Gomez, I mean, the other side, I mean, I like, say, yeah, yeah, the other side, right? We, yeah. And you're cutting inside, and Gomez right footed. It's, 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 yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a good defender, Gomez, you know what I mean? But, but even si- since the Arsenal game, since he stepped in to play that left side, for me, he's just been. Even against, where was it, Sheffield? I think he played a good game. Yeah, yeah. Joe Gomez. Yeah, yeah, yeah for me, Joe, well. Joe Gomez, I feel like he deserved his credit. Who else is there? There's Curtis so many. Jones. Curtis Jones, mm-hmm. amazing. Like I mean, yeah, just midfield, he just adds that bit. Yeah. Like Jota feels like a new signing to me. Like it's just what? Why? Because like him coming back. Yeah. Oh. Him I'm coming back. Injury. Him coming back to live it's, it's massive for us. Like course, yeah, yeah. He's Salah's gonna miss a few. Ga- yeah, well, like Salah's schooling right now. Talk to him. Bro. Salah's gonna miss a few games. He will, yeah. Like again. What a way to leave, though. What a way to leave. Yeah. Two goals and an assist. Yeah, and yeah, a yeah, penalty. He gave us a lot. But that's what as what <laughs> Leah said. What 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 did you say? When you said about players, there's there's top level and then there's yeah, elite. Level, yeah, yeah. Course, this yeah, is yeah. what elite players do. Sure. They, they'll, they'll miss a penalty. Uh, I mean, ask, ask, ask Leas how elite he thinks Salah is. I think Salah's oh, being serious, right? Because <laughs> we were joking during the game, right? I actually think Salah is the best player in the Premier League, bar Kevin De Bruyne. Like when he comes back, right? Salah is the best player in the league. Yeah, bro. We know that. Yeah. Yeah. No, but I, I remember last year people were saying Howland, 
Well, Kane nah, obviously isn't in the league anymore. Sal- Sal- Salah, Kane, yeah. and De Bruyne. That was the three. Salah, Salah, Salah is the best player Kane's in the league. Now, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's playing like it as well, too. Like that's Sometimes, when Leah speaks, it's the truth. But before, like one time, I remember when he said, Martin Lenny, he's going to overtake Marnie. <laughs> I never said that in my life. I never said that in my life. That's crazy. Stuff like that, we don't hear. That's but crazy. this stuff is good. Like, this is what elite players do, bro. Like, they miss a penalty, but... They, it, when you miss a penalty, mentally, you're meant that, that will, your confidence for the whole game, you're you're hiding. Yeah. Salah wasn't. Salah was there thinking, boom. And that's why you saw that celebration. You know yeah, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Always sat on the board. The only stealing Kudus hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Full, full, full. Let's, let's be real here. Who did it before Kudus? Let me, this is, let me yeah, see. Yeah, Cristiano Ronaldo, 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 I know you think. Ronaldo, Champions League. So like. That's he did it Champions League. Okay, that again. But Salah did it differently. Like he crossed his legs and you get <laughs> no, me. It's a, bit, it's a bit different. That was oralist. That was yeah, the oralist. That, that, that when, when Salah did that, I it's did like you. When Salah did it, no, crossing the clone. No, when Salah did it, you felt it. I'm a big fan of Salah. It was real. And like even is there an issue now with him this penalty taking? Obviously, he scored a second. No, no, no. And and even if the what. If we take him, if you take him, take four him, out of his last 11 now. So we don't take him Let's off. And even him, if we do, we got bare him. penalty takers, bro. Yeah, bro. Like, we got Sobo Trent. It's, it's a joke. Bro. Speaking it's of Trent, that chance, yeah. that, 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 that oh, attempt, the penny. That hit, yeah, no, yeah. that attempt that hit the post. The, the volley on the... The volley that hit the post from the side. <laughs> <laughs> he uh, meant that shit. I don't think he remembers it. No, no, because I'm thinking of... Um, the Trent cross. from the side. You're talking about the volley that he's got. Yeah, the one from the missed penalty. I brought Carlos Mike on his, like, hit the cross with the post. But didn't go in. <laughs> he was screaming at someone on the screen. Yeah, yeah, but what, what, what are you trying to say about must, it though? Like it was how, crazy. How it was, was it goal of the year, bro. I mean, the, he's to be fair, so it's January second, so of course it would be goal of the year. After I showed it for you, okay, cool. Another thing is, um, I'm saying, I'm talk about Gakpo and Belinda. I was gonna, gonna say, I think Gakpo, go on. Talk about Gakpo came on. Yep. Like, this is a club. Gakpo came on. Gakpo and Jota came on and you, you just predict what's going to happen. You just, yeah. I Gakpo knew it, bro. It, it was <laughs> just... <laughs> I knew this is going to change as well myself. I said, I said, yeah. I said, this is... We won this game. Like, I was so I'm confident. I'm not going to lie. If you're a team like Newcastle, you've been getting run ragged anyways. Even the scoreline's close. And you see Gakpo and Jota coming on. It's like, oh my God. It's a God, long day, fam. It's long because you know they're going to be involved in something. McAllister coming back. Yeah. Like, it's just like, it's, it's hey, happy to there's be. There's another guy coming back, huh? Yeah. Tiago. Don't let Thiago Alcantara come back Ooh, healthy. I saw bro. your tweet. Don't That's let Thiago Alcantara. We're talking about best players just out, out like in the league level. Bro. He's a, he this is a club. But does he still have it? Like, can he still yes. Control? Yes, I believe yeah, in Thiago. What happened? Not be your players. Sorry. And I don't want. That's the thing. That's why I'm getting vexed. I don't want you to. <laughs> oh, sorry. I genuinely don't want you to. Mm. This is these two in particular. <laughs> with you remember Liban, things. You. They don't say. Yeah, he definitely remembers. Clock. He retweets it every yeah. three days. Yeah. It's cooked. Yeah, but I was allowed. You guys were no, no, not no. gonna. F- no, no, was you was allowed to. Say about Arteta and Klopp, you was allowed to be biased. I picked Arteta. But no, 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 we're not talking about that now. Oh. So don't try to run away. Uh. Come back. Bring that ass <laughs> here, boy. <laughs> Come back. They said Liverpool. You guys are done. You guys are finished. You are, you will not be competing for the league title. You know what it's like. You know what it is. It's like me. I got a dirty yard. You got a dirty yard. I'm telling people about your dirty yard. Let me focus crazy. on my own mess. That's crazy. Fo- they need to focus on their own mess before <laughs> focus on, on mine. Focus on your your mess, mm-hmm. and then you can talk about mine. My, mm-hmm. Look at my mess now. Clean. <laughs> we hide the clean up. <laughs> hide the clean up. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like a lot of people, and it's not just th- these three in particular, mm-hmm. but these three because they did it here. It's massive. They're they're number one of two we're two after them. Two of us still. But <laughs> a majority of people, no, but with with um the other youth from yeah, Lebanon, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dumfries, Taliban. a lot of people didn't didn't think that they didn't they didn't rate us, bro. You know they never rated us, so I don't want your ratings now. Do you get? It? I don't want to hear you talk about these guys. Yeah, they're sick. Stay on that side. I don't want to hear yeah, it. Yeah. Um, let me enjoy. I'm I mean, clock, clock let me enjoy clock, myself. Then the thing is, we can be wrong sometimes, and as humans, well, you, I, I, the way, you, I like you, being wrong. I like being proved there wrong. There was wrong and strong. Yeah, Ooh. I like being that wrong. was di- that's the difference. You can be oh, wrong, oh, I hear oh, it. Oh, but oh, when oh, you're oh, wrong and strong, I, I and I you mean, try to come back and be, yeah, but I, I think I, I think, always knew, yeah, I always yeah, knew yeah, my yeah, man's gonna do that. Listen, no, I listen, don't want to hear it. But he went in harder than me. It wasn't. It was him. Listen, hold on. Oh, no, 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 <clears throat> Last season, when you lot were quick, a lot of people were questioning Klopp's yeah. substitution, his management. He's he, he's he's relying. He got too. What's that? What's that, what's the words that you lot were saying? I don't remember. Loyalty. He's got too much loyalty on mm. these man. Da, da, da. I like they don't have to, fam. This is yeah, what I you lot were saying. But I, I don't see <laughs> the things that you lot were saying. I don't see it. I see a different side to Jurgen Klopp. Like, let me tell you why we should never question this guy ever again. 
Like, we were struggling to sign a DM. He bought someone from Germany that were fight. They were fighting relegation. Thirty years old. Fighting relegation. Thirty years old. No one's ever heard of him. Where's a gum shield? Where's a gum shield to a football game? <laughs> Look at him now. Look at him now. Look when he fits mm, in, in the squad. Lie. Scary guy, bro. Yeah. Like he's so aggressive. He's everything he's, we wanted, bro. Do you still go for a six in Jan? No. I mean, me personally, he's losing Endo as well, and Endo's Endo's pro- going, yeah, and that's and a massive it, Endo's for me. For a while. Does, winning, yeah. Japan's winning the tournament, and so now look, gonna be there to the end. Now look who's back. Who came on yesterday as a substitute? Number ten, Res number ten for Liverpool, like and someone wore their World Cup medal. Mm. He's back. <laughs> like we got, we, <laughs> we got options now, baby. We got options. Thiago's coming back soon. Like this is like, it's, scary. it's what a time to be a Liverpool fan. This is the best time to be Liverpool. We haven't even hit first gear, bro. We haven't hit first gear. Actually, Klopp, talk about Klopp as well. Yeah. Talk, talk, yeah. Uh, can I, can talk, I, can I we I haven't even, hit, we're not at our best. Fu doesn't want to hear me speak, but there's a lot of Liverpool fans that have been on my ass. You have to, apo- first, hold on, hold on, you hold have on. to look at them and hold apologize. On, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You have to apologize. Hold on, hold on, hold on. can I speak? Was you wrong? Let, let me let me say this. Apologize Let me say as well. this. There's two things I need to address. And okay, if can I can I address them? You may address them and apologize. Yeah, so there's there's I'll two things that Liverpool fans want me to address. First of all, it's the clip that you kindly keep retweeting and every, will, every every week. two days. <laughs> every two <laughs> days. Don't yes. let it continue. <laughs> there's that one, and there's another one. I'm gonna get to the other one later. Yeah. The first one is me saying I don't think Liverpool or no one thinks Liverpool are gonna contend next season. Mm. I was wrong, of course. But I don't apologize for it because you I think do. every every fan on this table that, that we did the SDS, no one had Liverpool winning the league. I think did you have Liverpool winning the yeah, league? Yeah, Faisal, Faisal, Faisal did. Faisal, 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 Faisal's a cloud chaser. Faisal don't count. You were the only person that had Liverpool winning the league. We were all wrong, which is still a long way away yeah. from happening. No, no, no but we now. said Come challenge. On. I, 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 hold, hold, on, hold, on. hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> when it was Arsenal last season, hold on, hold on. and he was in December about what I'm going to wear in the parade. Fool. And he's talking about it's a long season. Exactly. And now I've grown. Now I'm like, yeah, I'm yeah, yeah, winning the league. I, we, I'm I said, now. different humbling. I said you weren't going to challenge. So forget about winning the league. Hey, it's coming soon, bro. Nah, it's there. I'm not, I'm not saying. Don't forget where you come from. But let us have a lot to address, yeah? Let me lend. People want to hear this. I was wrong, but I'm actually not going to apologize that by the one because I think most people were wrong. I don't think even Liverpool fans, I think, I keep saying, I think you guys are ahead of schedule. I don't think many people expected Liverpool to challenge for the league, but we're all wrong. Fair enough. The one I need to apologize for is Jurgen Klopp. I need to apologize to Jurgen Klopp because I came on this podcast and I said, we had this whole, what is it? Ranking the managers ranking in the managers, Premier League. Yeah, yeah. And I never said Arteta had a better legacy or what he was a better coach before, yeah. but I said at this moment, I think Arteta's coaching is more conducive to winning in the modern game. I think he's a better coach. And I said, I think at the end of the season, we're going we're gonna to all universally agree to that. I was wrong. And I'm sorry, Liverpool fans. And I'm sorry, Jurgen Klopp, because Jurgen Klopp, and I'm obviously the main candidate here, we have to stop doubting this guy because he's shown you so many times that this is what the second time where Liverpool kind of had an off season. The first year they came forth, but they had an off season, and the next year they're right back at it, ready to contend, ready to hit 85, 90, 95 points. I was wrong to doubt him. I was wrong to doubt that Liverpool could be back up here in such a short amount of time. And for that, and do you know what? I'm so, sorry. You know what's so there sick you about go. that? Fair enough. You know that slightly gave me goosebumps. Wow. Because <laughs> he said we need to stop doubting this guy. Yeah. When you I need to stop doubting this guy. First came to Liverpool. He said, I'm going to turn doubters into believers. That's oh, and look at that. Like, wow. Wow, like, he got you there. No, no, no that's, what yeah, yeah. that's what he said. That's what he said. He said, I'm going to turn doubters into believers. Like, He's a philosopher, man. I can never disrespect this guy. Well, speaking I can of never question. Club, you call him an actor. Like, <laughs> um, bro, did you not see amazing. what he was doing yesterday? He lost his ring. He lost his ring after the game. He's like, guys, you have to help me find money. And then when he finds it, yeah. It. But all of that, but even then, even but even that the yeah, penalty. Did the you see? Players, I cannot look. I but know what that's, that's, but that that is the charisma. Charisma. But it's true. Boom. But all of that is what is like lacking at club. Yeah, like obviously, I'm not. Man. Arteta is not nowhere near like club. He has more charisma. But than Arteta guy, has man. that where of course he's getting sent off because he has too much passion. Yeah. He's sometimes Mourinho. Yeah. I'm saying. Mourinho. Nah, no, the most correct. Nah. Nah. So, I just guys, said, you have to believe. Look, no, but I just, but what I'm saying is, the it has the fucking but, sign. Nah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Has, Look at that tweet. He tweeted you about you. Has, yeah, yeah. Here's but, my dog. But it, has, but it has the fans with you. It makes the fans. Yeah, 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 yeah I agree. Like, nah, we're agree. angry. If Arteta's angry, we're angry. But yeah. we're like people like obviously his man. Ten hours angry. He's like, get grip. Grow up. Or you see social. Or you see Lucy sitting on it smiling. Like it doesn't work. And with big clubs, like you said, you need stuff like that. Even with Ange, like. He's, he's a different type of charisma. He obviously, but he might not be as like 
I don't think he has. He's not as athletic as like, Klopp and, and Arteta. Mm. You know I mean, like, he's not come on, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ain't no need. Bro, he fetched him in 2024. Ain't no need for that, bro. He fetched him in 2024. He's out of the year. No, no, he's out of the year. Ed's versus Klopp in a fight, bro. No, no, I'm going to be real. With Ange, he's limited. He's not me. He's why, limited. There's not the same thing. Why is he limited? Why is he limited? Like, why is he limited? Why is he limited? like, and, no. like, like let's be real. If I was a manager, yeah, like, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and someone's <laughs> done a mad goal, <laughs> no, no, we can't celebrate the same as Klopp and them, man. What? So you're we limited too? You're, you're saying I, you're I, I am. I'm saying, <laughs> as of now, as of now. Well, 2024, you're saying something. As of now, as of now, I'm saying, look, he's going to change. You don't know what's going on. What I would say was, Andrew's charisma comes from like interviews and all of that stuff. Ted Lasso. The change. I'm just saying. Yeah, but Ted Lasso, bro. <laughs> you, yeah. He's Ted. But uh, but Ten Hag is crazy. neither on the pitch or in the, a robot, in, 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 in the media. He's no hey, charisma. Hey, What's hey, hey, up? Hey, 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 but, uh, but but obviously great win for Liverpool. Great performance. Salah obviously an incredible performance. Like I said, two goals and, and an assist. Uh, could have easily had a hat trick. Of course, the penalty he missed. Um, but Newcastle man, they. Mm. What's going on now, man? Uh, I mean, I, I I'm not shocked. I'm gonna be so real. I'm not shocked. I'm not surprised at all. I, I, I knew this was going to happen. Mm. I'm going to be totally honest. Like, I think I've said it. I said it last season. This is a club that they're not going to be competing for a top four next season. Yeah. After um, last season, they over, for me, they over, personally, they overachieved last mm. season. I don't think this season they were going to do great. So I'm not really surprised to, to see where what's happening right now with Newcastle. I don't think Eddie Howe will, can change Newcastle and, and make them compete with, for other great things. They need a new manager. Right now they got financial they got finan they got financial backing. Mm. Like with financial backing, all you need is an elite manager that can attract the players. That's what that's what wins. The money they have can attract the players, surely enough. Yeah, but once you have an elite manager with that, that's a that's a win. I think Jan win, January is huge for them because now you're out of the Champions League completely, no Europe in the second half mm. of the season. You've really got to use it as an opportunity to almost get back into your groove like you did last year. I feel like last year they did that after the yeah. Carabao exit. Yeah. They had January, a January post in general, they had a really yeah. good spell. Yeah, they yeah. had a really Plus strong kind of finish the after final. that. Yeah, they got to the yeah. final, but I remember kind of after they lost that, the week or two after that, results were rough, but then they really went on a stretch. I just yeah. feel like now they just have to get back to that. January is almost like a gifted opportunity. I, feel, I don't feel like Newcastle well, had I, that it, window that yeah. really pushes it as yeah. well. They had Tonali last year, I think. Izak the year before yeah, or yeah. last year, January. I can't January, remember. January. Yeah. But no, Isaac was, was in the summer. Yeah, the summer. It was in the summer, summer actually. No, it yeah, wasn't yeah, 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 was summer. summer. Yeah, he was. No, it was, it was Jan. No, it was Isaac was summer, bro. It was Jan. I think it was summer. Because we wanted him in Jan. Yeah, no, Isaac million. was summer, bro. I tell His you first goal, I swear, was against you guys. Yeah. And that, that was in, in the summer. In, in, like in early of that season. I'm not playing no more, man. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't want to be here. You I have to apologize to me if you're wrong. You have to apologize to me if you're wrong. I said Isaac came in summer. He came in August. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, you can apologize to me. Is August summer or is it spring? It's, it's, summer. it's neither. Mm. What? Autumn. Sorry, it's autumn. It's not. If autumn is late September. It doesn't matter. He came in the summer transfer window, bro. What are you uh, talking where's about? Where's your team? Where's mine? <laughs> Shut the hell up. <laughs> It's my thing, it's like, I really like Isak in that game. Uh, obviously, Isak and Gordon, I'm a big fan of. But I think they, maybe like in the midfield, they can, um, they need to I think Bruno Guimaraes is someone who's actually like kind of fell off a bit. I think he's, he's got, he's lent too much into the aggressive arc yeah. and the football's kind of gone by the wayside. But they always keep saying they've got big, massive injuries. And I'm like, Joe Linton's there, Bruno's there. Longstaff's there. That was your midfield I three think, before. Look, Pope is out. Uh, what's his name? S uh, Botman has only just come back from that long-term injury. Okay. Trippier was out for this week. Tonali obviously but is out for the rest of the season. Uh, Trippier's yeah. in the worst form of his life. So to True. be fair, he could use the break. True. Yeah, but Livermento as well. Wilson, who I, I don't know. Who is everyone, Wilson? Uh, everyone's who I've hyped very highly. I think yeah. he's going to be one. I, I said, I actually said, I think he's going to be one of the best fullbacks in the world. Soon, but Diaz cooked him, man. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> but it's, uh, Everyone's a fullback until a real this, one comes the, in the room. And this is what I'm trying to Diaz say. And, and I, I want to speak to the people that say, no, you need to be, I'm, I don't want to be, I don't need to be humble. I want don't to, be humble. I, no, no, say, I, I'm, say, I, live I, I live in a moment. I live in a moment. You know why? Tell. Because like, for example, using Sky, this time last year, Sharky, Sky High. Mm -hmm. Look now. He was playing parades. Look now. Me, I was a I'm enjoying champion. the moment, bro. My team's top of the league right now. Everyone writ us off and said that we're done. Jurgen Klopp is done. We need to get rid of him. You need to do a, a change. Swap your this and swap that. But look, look now, bro. Mm. I'm. It's great to be liberal. Jurgen what, Ford. He could win four. Jurgen oh. Quad. That's it. Jurgen Quad. It was on quadruple. Jurgen Quad. 
See, he has uh, sex. You don't have a squad for Kajupa. He has sex too. Okay, far. no, Kajupa oh, was let, let me break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah they're trying to do the 2001 thing again. Wait, wait, wait. What does that mean? What does that mean? <laughs> We're in the Europa League yeah. because that's what we, that's what we achieved last season. Yeah, okay. We didn't achieve top four, so we can't get the Champions League. We're playing for trophies that we're in. We're in the Europa League. Let's go and win it now. Do you know what for I mean? For real, no, for sure. That's so we have to. Like, I'm not. You can't right. disrespect it and say it's listen, Europa League. Listen, this congratulations to Liverpool. This um, is not enough. It's not enough. Game. I just feel like move look, on now. we can't. Just we'll have to move on now. This is a team that's top of the league, bro. Okay, what more? What more do you want to raise? There's a lot of things. Oh, There's a lot of things. There's a lot of things. One more thing. Yeah, I think we'll talk about one more thing about Salah, bro. This guy's. Playmaking this season, very impressive. I didn't the like. I pass. didn't. I didn't like Faisal's tweet talking oh. about this is third. Well, you do his accent. No. You do his, his little goal. You know, Faisal he had three part in his career. He was main goal scorer. Then he was entertainer. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe to my YouTube. <laughs> 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 and and now he is number one creator. <laughs> Threat come to live. <laughs> Threat come to Galactico. Galactico. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 you know why I have to respect Faisal? Uh, not to, uh, X is his bag. Yeah, he tweets like the rent is due. <laughs> he he is he X is like the rent is due. Moving swiftly on, um, we'll go over to Luton now, mm. who have been picking up some good results recently. Luton Nation, um, you know, back to back wins they just had against Newcastle, who we just spoke about, and obviously they beat Sheffield. United. So now they went into this game against Chelsea pretty confidently. Mm-hmm. But they, boy, they were boy were they wrong because they went down three nil very quickly against Chelsea. Even though they had a late mini resurgence, um, but they went down three nil, two nil very quickly. Uh, I mean to say, it went into half time two nil. Um, but yeah, man, like I said, obviously now from now on these games will kind of speed run these games. Talk about uh, the, the 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 hot topics within the games rather than fully discussing loads of things. Um, but a couple facts uh, here is. That um, Thiago Silva had a good game. Thiago Silva, only Gareth Cahill and Asper Luqueta have made more clearances in the Premier League game for Chelsea since the start of 2016-17 than Thiago Silva did against Luton. Uh, another fun fact as well, Cole Palmer for Chelsea this season, by the way. What a player. What, what season he's having. He had the most passes into the box um, in the season, most chance created, most goal involvements, most goals, most big chance created, and most assists for Chelsea this Damn. season. Listen, the first, no question, the first question I have for you guys um, is... For you, for how how high is Cole Palmer's ceiling? Would you say very high, very high? I think any player that comes out of the City Academy, you're seeing, is coached very, very well. And the way he's taken to this Chelsea team, yeah. I don't think anybody expected it. Even coming in the summer, you thought maybe he'd be a squad player, he'd find his way in second half of the season. He came in straight away, and he's taken ownership. And every game, it's almost like he's grown in confidence. He's grown in kind of more ownership of the team. Them shifting him to the ten role, you thought. Now cold he's even Palmer. cold. Palmer. Now he's. I like this. I love now this he's even buying ice into it. Ice tray. He's the he's our ice tray, bro. And when you see that second finish, bro, yeah, yeah. roll oh, round the keeper. Wow, wow, wait for Sambi to come. I hear your footsteps. Hold yeah, this, calma, one, calma. and then switch his foot, bro. Like the technically, what this kid can do, play anywhere across that behind the striker. I feel like he's gonna make a serious case. I think for that Euro squad as well. I think he's gonna be one of those kind of late charges. You think of it, playing in a big Chelsea side and. As you said, reading out those numbers, bro, he's he's the main needle mover in that team. Mm. So mm. very, very high in my opinion, honestly. Well, I mean, I, I agree with you. The only thing I think people are kind of wondering is that maybe he lacks a bit, a bit of athleticism. Yeah, that's my opinion. Guess what? Yeah, yeah. That comes with time. Yeah. That comes with age. But then again, so did David mm. Silva. I'm not comparing to that. I'm saying like and now that you can get away with not being the most true, athletic of course. player. Yeah, yeah. David Silva showed us that he was the first player. I reckon more did that in the Premier League where he yeah. came. Yeah. Not much athleticism. And then he's left as one of the greatest. I, I mean, David Silva, okay, we obviously goes without saying he's a tec- technical ability. Is a, yeah, is we're a, not comparing to him. But... Footballing IQ yes. is, is is a big one, and that can always bridge the gap in those kinds of areas. And you look at Cole Palmer. In my opinion, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I haven't watched him enough. But I look at other players. I think they may have better technical ability. They might be more talented on the ball. But his footballing IQ bridges that gap. Mm-hmm. And it's like you said, when you come from Pep Guardiola's Manchester City team, playing in the academy before that, you have an automatic advantage against someone like Mudrik, for example, who I think might be more talented. Uh, in terms of his physical ability, yeah. you've had. But in terms of the the, the footballing development of that he's course, had in this point in his career, puts him above him. Yeah, of no course, facts. Of course, I think uh, another one yeah, though we should on. quickly touch on within that is Madweke as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that slammer he scored in the no first, the first back-to-back back games. Now he scored, bro. Throughout all season, 
he's almost been like left to the wayside. And every time he's come off the bench, I said last week, like, mm. why is Poch not starting this guy more often? Like, he, I feel like he can offer something different to the wing. Poch had him in his books, didn't he? One of that Spurs. That's right. And he's what upset. happens? And he said, yo, I'm going off to PSV to sign my real deal. Mm. And I think Poch maybe held that against him a little bit, said, you got to earn your spot in my team. And yeah. hey, he stayed quiet, worked hard, got his opportunities. He's taken them. And now mm. first start, I think him and Palmer could kind of cement those places over the no, next I month love or by so him. for sure. He's not media trained. Hey, he's himself, man. I like that. <laughs> well, well done, act. <laughs> no, 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 no. He called her bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah, like, yeah well done, yeah. nice yeah. one, bro. Yeah, yeah. And, and then he said to call him, well done, act <laughs> on, on, on the man <laughs> of the match. Yeah, man. Um, food, what do you reckon? They're coming yeah. for you guys? Chelsea? Coming for who? I think, I think. Tottenham mm. and Arsenal. Wow, well, he really, I mean, he didn't come for us. To be fair, it's part of my point behind us. So no, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. sorry. I can mouse dash all of you lot in there. Um, I yeah. think they'll improve second half of the season, but I don't yeah. think the, the best they can I hope th- for I is think Europa. Good cup runs. I Carabao. Think that, yeah, they're gonna win. I think they'll win some of the season. I think Carabao. Carabao. They, 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 I mean, Chelsea have always been uh, uh, built for cup competitions. They've won FA Cups. They've won Carabao mm-hmm. Cups, Champions Leagues. Um, and then obviously they'll have won leagues, but haven't won a league in a while. But this Chelsea team, I think I fancy them for like, uh, as a cup team. They actually look pretty good. Uh, another question, to be fair, Luton did score... Two late goals. Adibayo. Yeah, Lewis, Lewis did score two goals uh, late on. One of them was Barkley. And, and that's, what is this thing about players scoring against their former clubs as well? Like, it's, it's, it's proof. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Mm. You know what I mean? He didn't really get to get, get a chance at Chelsea. Obviously, Ross Barkley was one of the most highly touted players, English mm. players after, a in talent, a long man. time, bro. Mm. You know, English, Nigerian players, like top, top player. Um, did, bro- huh? Yeah, 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 he's got oh, yeah, he's Nigerian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Nigerian. His dad's half Nigerian. I never knew that. He's yeah, Nigerian, bro. bro. He could play for Nigeria. That's bro. why he's kind of got that off white skin. That's, yeah, yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's mm. why he's a bit of a brute. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Um, but yeah, how high was his potential when, remember, like, this uh, guy? Everton, no, 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 yeah. like, I remember sort of, like, someone tweeted saying, um, to even up until now, because of the ages, bro, we. Look, Jack Wilshere and Barkley should have been England's midfield. Bro, they, they, even now. I'm glad you said that because you see about Foden, we always speak about our oh, best talent since yeah. Wayne Rooney. He used Ross to be Park, the one we said. Ross Barkley, they were talking about next Rooney. Yeah, in terms he of like was his the one. I'm saying like Wilshere as well. I'm saying that level, yeah. Wilshere was more like the Foden that we're talking about Max. now. It's mad, but it's been unfortunate. But quickly, the new role there, quickly yeah, hey, so. Barkley, should he get an outside shot for Germany? No. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. No, I'm talking no, about Cole Palmer. We're talking about moving the brand forward. And I want to go back. No, is it going nah, back? Nah. Even in his peak years, he couldn't. Yeah. Just the question. Ross Barkley is a perfect environment for him because yeah. I think like he's he's someone at this point in his career like big fish in a small pond. Yeah. Luton is just perfect. Like everyone knows their role around him. Defend for your lives. Be organized and give the ball to your maverick and, and score and create. Chances and Townsend. That's yeah. perfect for him. In a in a more organized team, where he has to play a role. I don't see it so much. Yeah. Mm. But listen, Luton. I've shown a lot of resilience this season. Mm. Of course, um, they are flirting and around that just the relegation relegation zone. They're back in the relegation zone, obviously after this loss against Chelsea. But they have been pretty good. Obviously, they've won two games on the bounce before this. They did lose to City and Arsenal in the same week, but both those games, they, the result close, could have been a lot different. Right. They're very, very close. Um, would their resilience keep them in the Premier League? You reckon this season could be? Or you don't think? Yeah, no, no. I thought they were generally gonna fall off like in terms of. The stadium, everything can buy it. I just thought, nah. They also have a, it game, doesn't even they also sound have like a game in hand, so if they win that game in hand, then uh, out of the relegation. There's a possibility where they can think, but I, I don't think they, they they'll they'll um make it. They've, they've As in, like, they'll make it? No, nah, I feel, like, I feel like they'll... St- you think they'll stay or go down? Just about scrape it. What, what? Stay up. <laughs> no, just about scrape it. Scrape so, what? Scrape, like, so I feel like they'll... Wait, cra- scrape safety or scrape relegation? Yeah. Uh, scrape, scrape, regu- uh, scrape regulation. 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 What, well, what does scrape relegation even mean? What's anyway? going on? So they're, gonna, they're not going to get relegated. Are yeah, they going to go down or not? Yes no, or no? no, they're not going to go down. So they're going to stay. Uh, so they're going to scrape outside so of relegation. Stay up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll just scrape uh, it. Just about stay up. Yeah, yeah. Just, oh, yeah. we got there in the um, end. So how Everton um, was no. last season. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 The greatest I feel like. Yeah, yeah. Because we'll go down. When they play big teams, like, they are, we think it's going to be a walk in the park, but it's not. They're tough to play. So like, I feel like that alone, Especially their ground, yeah. I mean, it's like, you know what I mean? 1-0, we, like, so we, we did the last minute. Liverpool's 1-1. Liverpool needed the last yeah. minute equaliser. You know, they scored tough, first tough, City. Yeah, One yeah, thing they've done is, uh, like, where they could just have given up almost and, as you said, kind of just capitulated away from the start of the season. Week by week, I feel like they've learned less. They have a siege kinda, mentality, man, honestly. Yeah, like, especially at home. Like, and they know their strengths in terms of set you. pieces. Thank and you, bro. 
launching it into the box. I know it seems old school and kind of Sunday league-ish, but it works for them, Brian. Yeah. You've seen Adebayo the last couple of weeks. Bro. How many yeah. goals has he got? Like four four yeah, in the past six or whatever now, it is. Yeah, so he's, he's got a couple. So they found what works for them mm. and they're trying to make the best use of that. Will it be enough to keep them up? I don't think so. Mm. But... It can be a learning lesson, do you know what I mean, for when they get the parachute payments and go down. Who knows? We'll find out. We'll no, find out. Gonna, you ain't going to ask me. We'll find <laughs> out. <laughs> you ain't going to ask me. No, no questions <laughs> for you this Loot Lo Lo and Nation, hey, we got this, baby. Come on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been with you since day one. <laughs> so you say to stay up. I, I said from, from the preview, I said they were going to stay up. You did. You did. Loot and Nation, I got y'all, man. There we go, man. Get our dues. Let's get to a game. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, moving on now, we got, um, <laughs> we'll go to the top. I'm not going to be there. <laughs> we'll, we'll, go to, we'll go to the, 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 the worst name stadium in the Premier League, the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. I agree. I do agree. Name is that? I do agree. Media, it's, bro. It, bro, the fact that it's been open for so long, we still haven't found like a name for it. Even I'm like, White, oh, White Hart Lane. I just call it White Hart Lane. Yeah, still. Yeah, but yeah, the yeah. thing is, you don't even need us. Like, yeah, exactly. No, no, no. We need, we need a sponsor. We need our, no, so like, cause ours, Google cause, Stadium. Cause, yeah, because ours is a sponsor. Emirates. Yeah. You got Etihad a sponsor. But then again, a Villa Park. It's not a sponsor. It's just Villa Park. Just sounds like a good stadium name. Yeah. Like, you just need something like a placeholder or something. Yeah, man. Should have just called it New White Lane. To be fair, that's too long. You were White Hart Lane. Yeah. That's way too long. Mean, That's nah, worse than Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. <laughs> is it? Mean, it is I don't know. Tottenham Hotspur Stadium just still sounds so nah, played. That's but terrible. I, I hate that. Uh, it's like Arsenal wait, Stadium. Let's get to the game, shall we? You <laughs> wait, 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 what, 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 what's Anfield about? Anfield. You're a loop fan, shouldn't I? Anfield, like the, the area. Is that what it's called? The area yeah, 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 yeah. It's that old Trafford, isn't it? Huh? That's the area. Oh, yeah, Trafford's the area. Yeah, yeah. That's the area. Yeah, I'll take your word for it. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. No, I'm generally no, no, asking. He don't know. <laughs> <laughs> He's guessing. <laughs> <laughs> Google. Google. No, no, no. no. Nah, 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 if you get <laughs> trips up there, he knows that actually. Yeah, yeah, you know what? Those Google ads. I won't try it. Hold on. One pattern I noticed though, whenever he goes up, Liverpool don't be winning, you know? That's allegedly. Yeah, and every time, I'm, I'm every, time every time, every time he's there, too. Back to Jules. Oh, food going up. Back to back to Jules. Jules. But every, when, I, when uh, I went to Everton, what happened? You're right. I'm for the and yeah, every time, on. every time it goes, club complains about the atmosphere. Mm. <laughs> Suspect. Mm. All right. Like I said, yeah. moving swiftly <laughs> on. The foreigners back out. to the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Um, <laughs> Spurs won three one pretty comfortably. Ended up being though three nil up until Alex got uh, uh, scored a consolation. Who is he's doing the Richarlison celebration <laughs> because he did score once again after goals from uh, Papa Matissa and Hyung Win Son. Mm. Uh, Saw so a good finish, but he got he went out injured, didn't he? Yeah, it's peak, man. Just, 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 yeah. Yeah, just signed the new deal as well till 2030, so him and your doggy tied down long term, which is but good. But Is he missing that Afghan or no? I think he could be a ah, doubt for Senegal, it, I think, which big is loss Senegal. huge, huge for them. But Benton Court obviously coming back that game, which was a little bit of a surprise I'm confused. as well. I just see, the guy's injured. I see him in the start yeah, lineup. Bro, like, this guy, what's he doing? Same, but... The more, the better we need, bro. I'm telling you. But that game, honestly, I think the scoreline kind of flatters it, to be fair. Because mm. if you watch it first half, I think Bournemouth could have easily had one or two goals. And mm. we just kind of looked lackadaisical. But then as the goals kind of started kicking in, we kind of found our feet. And this game, I feel like you have to give a lot of credit to the B-team brigade, if you like. The likes of Emerson, the likes of Davis. I felt like they really performed their job. LaCelso. Sent it back partnership um, with dreams. Yeah, pff, listen, it is, it's not ideal for anybody, do you know what I mean? But Kulusevski weren't there there as well in the number 10, so you felt like maybe you're going to miss that Celso, midfield creativity. LaCelso, two assists, brother. And the second one, outside of the box. Beautiful as well. Like, I don't, I'm not the hugest fan of him, but since coming into the team now, he said he's felt more comfortable. And this is all we ask. When you... Bench guys come in, just yep. be able to do a job. A yeah, seven yeah. out of ten, do you know what and I mean? Los also has the talent to come in. And, like, we've seen my bro. Villarreal. I always say, I, I forget about Villarreal. I remember for Argentina and Copa America, this guy was so influential. And I remember when he went out for the World Cup, he was kind of out for there. Yeah. A lot of people who were supporting Argentina or who were Argentine, they were, they were saying, wow, this is one of the biggest losses our team got yeah. out. Luckily, they recovered. But he was a huge part of that team. That's, yeah. a, that's a good player right nah, there. Facts. Yeah, yeah. And Brennan Johnson as well, I yeah, felt, got, uh, assist got his assist as, well. yeah. assist as well. Richarlison yeah. getting his goal, continuing his form. But then I do think. Richarlison does need to, despite the goals, needs to go back to the left wing mm. and Sun back through the middle because I think Sun had that one game against Newcastle and Trippier where he spun him out of his boots and mm. everyone was thinking, oh, we've got our Sun back. It's like, mm. no. Nope. Yeah, Milner said you ain't got shit back. Bro. <laughs> when Milner can do that to you, <laughs> Milner said you ain't got that, shit back. <laughs> that was what they said to me. Hey, moving back to the middle, bro, yeah. because he can get you goals there. And I think Richarlison now has a bit of confidence where you know he can get you goals, but his energy and his legs are actually useful on that left flank. Mm. So, all in all, one of them games mm. weren't the best of performance, but you take the goals in the game. Yeah, points, I mean, you know and Sun now is like uh, his joint second top goal scorer with Solanke off behind Haaland and Salah, who have joint first top scorers. Mm -hmm. And um, this is your first time winning your final league game of the calendar year for, since 2017. So That's six years. Six years in a row. 
Oh, five years in a row, you didn't win your last game of the year. This is the first time since 2017 you won your last game uh, of the yeah, year. I, rem I remember so, Lanzini crashing uh, once. Yeah, I remember that one. That was that was one of the worst I ones. That, yeah, I, yeah. I hate that guy uh, to this day. Uh, I saw him on road. He, he ruined Bill's return, I swear. Bro, I yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, can't stand Lanzini, man. So but what, just quickly, where, where does that leave us in the table? Uh, you're a point behind us and you are in fifth. It's crazy how things turn. Oh, oh. part-time manager Ange, who, you know, was managing in Japan versus... Super Mick. Mm, yeah. yeah. Uh, but listen, Bournemouth, Bournemouth were on a seven game undefeated streak, six of them being wins. Before. It's all a hype, man. It can't be all hype, bro. Six games. Tell six Faisal come outside. <laughs> seven game unbeaten streak, six of them being wins. So they were in a crazy form before yeah. they, before they uh, lost this game. We're going to hear from Dan, the Bournemouth fan, uh, before I then go into Dan questions. Fan. Yeah, before I go to in some questions, because now what we do is, in when the games where they're not key features, like I just did in the game just now, I'm going to just pull some questions to you guys and then we'll oh, move on. Oh, you man are not key? So, they weren't key features. They weren't the the game features. Uh, uh, Dan says, 24 shots, four on target. One of those games where we generally just unlucky a lot of the time, whereas Spurs did well taking their chances. Yeah. Frustrating to see Neto make another mistake, giving the ball straight to them for the first goal. His distribution is woeful. <laughs> All right, some questions for the table. Uh, before we move on, the first one says, Tottenham are one point behind their North on the rivals. This one's for you, Fuad. How impressive have they been despite their injuries? I think very impressive. I don't think many I've got people, two for you, actually. Go I don't on. think many people expected us to kind of paper over the cracks as well as we have done, especially when you look at the Ben Davis, Emerson, Real centre-back pair, and you're probably expecting a lot of goals to go in. But as I said, they've they've actually stepped up in some of these games. Of course, we did go through that patch of, what was it, one point in 50 out of 15. Mm. But since then, we've kind of recovered well, to be fair. And I think that's a massive credit to Ange because a lot of times you can have injuries and suspensions and use it as an excuse of, well, we're not up to our best. And, you know, we are getting players back in, in January, as his manager says, but... Mm. Some man just move forward and get on with the job. Do you know what I'm saying? Real Correct. men. Right. Second question. Mm. What centre-back are you hoping to get in January as you're linked to quite a few? It, it goes in tiers for me. So if you want to go top tier creme de la creme, you go to Debo. You want to go the next step down and get someone who's kind of reliable. And personally, I don't know too much about, but I've seen a lot of good comps. Radu Dragusin. Who I think, uh, what's his name? Oh. Romano Maratici. even report. No, I think Romano even like. Uh, <laughs> it gives him the little <laughs> yeah, wink wink. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I don't know who he is. I'm yeah, saying, yeah, bro, I was the exact <laughs> Radu same. Radu Dragon. Radu Dragon. It looks like Vooch as well. It looks like Vooch. Oh, oh yeah, I saw yeah, Vooch coach. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it looks like Vooch basically, yeah, yeah, yeah. but he's a dog. Okay. And Paratici and Ange, so far, when they have called. For, for example, when it was Raya, they wanted. Um, we Mar used to be part of that club. Huh? Yeah. Trust I'm getting me. man, the, the Greek. Do you remember the Greek you, we signed? <laughs> I forgot his name. Simikas. It's so long. No, no, no. Yeah, the ponytail. Oh, Kyrgios, uh, Kyrgios. Yeah. Kyrgios, yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> and now they got the dragon. It's there. Yeah. <laughs> we came a long way. Are you mocking man before he's even arrived? <laughs> Radu, Radu Dragison yeah. has won more aerial duels than any defender in the Serie A so far this season, and it's only been dribbled past once. Dog, I like that. <laughs> Those look like stats. Bro. This is <laughs> but then if he hey, see, there you go, bro. <laughs> put put that on the screen if you can, please. Yeah. <laughs> Just so that you know what I'm talking about. Paratici putting these calls only 21, huh? What's Paratici putting these calls in, bro? Huh? What what mean, calls bro, in bro, do you know what the funny thing is? They said jail cell calls. They, said, they, they saying, actually bro. came out today and said he's still, still advising working. us in January for signings. And I went, keep doing it, bro. Bro, but listen, Mo, have That's you seen the job crazy. he's done? He's in that prison. That's and prison. That's like like the lower tier. The lower tier. I swear. You didn't even hear it. said he's in the same prison that Spex was in. That prison sounded lavish. You know that prison was like, the way he describes it. That prison is lavish, bro. <laughs> no, but I would say outside of those two, so you got the premier. Was it, was it, that's the thing. B grade. And sorry, then, sorry, go on. Go on. Go on. No, 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 go on. Spe you think that was a Joe? That wasn't a Joe. That was an old people's home. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he thought Spe it was Joe. Yeah, Spec thought it was Joe. Yeah, because he had what's it called? Am amnesia, amnesia or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. dementia. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was old people's home yeah. for a little bit Jeez, to yeah. get. Yeah, bro, he said there was a gross, there was a grocery store in the jail. Yeah, it's an old people's home. And he played for the football team in the prison. Old people's home. No one was playing. Everyone had that, that wheelchair <laughs> thing kicking the ball. What is going on? But I swear. I swear I was in jail for like a few months. Oh, old for what? Yeah, no, no, no. He, he, <laughs> basically, he got released, but the season wasn't finished for the season in the prison uh, football league. So he wanted to stay in longer to finish the season. So he just stayed in. <laughs> nah, he couldn't, but he wanted to. Best. He asked us. He asked us. Dedicated. I respect uh, Exactly, for real. But he was, he was the best Tosin player. would be the last option I'd throw in. Tosin there, from Tosin. Fulham. I'd arrive. Yeah. Contract runs out in six months. Looks very solid at Fulham. I think I'd take him. And he'd, I feel like he'd settle for a cover role for yeah. Van der Ven and Romero, in my opinion. Mm. Not a bad shot. Not a bad shot. And uh, final question is, 
Bournemouth. I know Faisal's not here to hype them up, but they've been doing pretty well this season and um, they are currently sat in 12th. Do you think they can finish in the top 10 this season? Mm, what's the current top 10? Um, there you go. You man are near there. West Ham, Brighton are 6 and 7. Liverpool, Villa, City, Arsenal, Spurs, West Ham, Brighton, United, Newcastle, Chelsea, no. Uh, Liverpool. <laughs> no. Liverpool what? Are, f- <laughs> are huh? in the top 10. But where though? Uh, you're saying somewhere. order. You're saying order. Oh, you're saying order. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. so that means we're... Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Aston Villa, City, Arsenal, Spurs, West Ham, Brighton, United, Newcastle, Chelsea. I don't think so. You don't think they can break into the top 10? No, I said that. I predicted them to finish 11th. So if they do that... 11th so means they finish above Wolves. Yeah, that and my men. And yeah, my men. Bro, that's, that's, game, real, that's, game, that's, that's the real... That's the real Yeah. They have a game in hand over Wolves. Yeah. And only three points behind. That's cool. Hwang. Good for them. <laughs> we got Gary right. O'Neill. All right. <laughs> we have a whole game. <laughs> All right. Let's move over now to Aston Villa versus Burnley. We go over to Villa Park. And it was a five-goal thriller. This one almost made into a key, f- key fixtures, I think, actually, to be fair. But now it's moved down to like, the sixth game. I don't know how it ended up down there. But it was a five-goal thriller. Aston Villa getting the win. It looked like it looked like their perfect home record was about to be done and dusted. Mm-hmm. You know, Um What's it called? Yeah, I mean, Villa, uh, Burnley at some point, they were winning, I believe. Or men. No, they made yeah. it 2-2, right? Yeah, they made it 2-2. They made, they made it 2-2 and they had 10 men before they even made it 2-2. And then your boy, Douglas Louise. Yeah, I invested early. In the 99th yeah. minute, yeah, pen. scored the luckiest yeah. penalty, though. Yeah, I yeah. invested in this On guy. FPL, he's carried you. <laughs> on FPL. But Fulham maintained their perfect record. I'm not Fulham. I still maintained their perfect record with another win at home. Listen, Oli Watkins, double assist. No player in Europeans top five leagues has a provided more assist than Oli Watkins this season. Top assist in the Premier League, is it? Yeah. Top assist in pre- not, just, not just top assist in Premier League. Top assist in Europe's top five leagues. That's crazy. Do you know what I mean? Uh, Only two players as well have scored 20 plus goals and provided 10 plus assists in the Premier League in 2023. Mohamed Salah and Oli Watkins. <sighs> Those are complete years. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good Doing good everything for them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So look at that, man. That's the Villa flying. Ollie Watkins as well flying. Didn't get a goal in this game, but double assists. So that was pretty good from him. Aston Villa, I mean, questions for the table I have. First one, um, I'm going to ask you. you got I'm going to say no then. Watkins, Solanke or Tony. Who makes it onto the plane for Euros? If, you, what, could, if you could only pick one second striker. Oli. Ollie Watkins. Over Dom Solanke. Yeah. And obviously, Avington hasn't played yet. But let's say Avington comes to, goes to Arsenal. That's a good end to the season. Wins the Champions League. <laughs> And he gets you guys in the Champions League. <laughs> where, where did that come from? Just huh? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> scenario building. <laughs> scenario building. Yeah, it's this fan fiction about <laughs> scenario building. This guy, bro. Scenario like, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, have that. Yeah, well. what if Ollie Watkins goes to I Liverpool think, and scores 50 I think, goals? Yeah, I think Sharky put a bit on that. Bro. <laughs> 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 we don't talk about Tony and Bex. Uh, I'm joking, I'm joking. Um, um, nah, for me, Ollie, man. It seems like Watkins already is the second choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think it has to be him. But... Yeah, I mean, hard to fair, displace him. You yeah, can't, bro. This guy's moving crazy. What's yeah. his numbers? It's insane. Nine goals, eight assists. That's insane. Yeah, that's and nice. it's even like when he's not scoring and not assisting as well, it's, he's still having an influence on the game as well. Mm. So, Facts. Yeah, yeah like, for me, assists, they, they, can, they can be fugazi a little bit, but you look at his overall game in terms of like what he offers, I think Hold up, he, I think that the important thing when you want to like bring a team to a tournament like that is having different options. So although I think when both are at their best, Ivan Tony is better, the fact that Ollie Watkins is like completely different in a way to Harry Kane in terms of running the channels and stuff like that, I would probably take Facts. all you saying? Nine, really did you say nine goals? Nine goals, eight assists. Eight assists yeah. In the Premier League this season? Yeah. yeah. Okay. In 20 games. That changes it a bit. Why? Because Why? It's, like, it's very close to Solanke. Solanke's got more goals. Got yeah. what, so you're going to take someone based on more goals? Nine goals, yeah. eight assists. Just goals. Yeah. What, so if Solanke ends the season with one goal more, you take him? If you, if no, not one. Not one. Not one. Well, so clearly, this it's, it's, it's close right no, now. It's like it's one. Close. I still no, think no. Watkins will outscore Solanke. Yeah, season. but I'll go for the top goal scorer to, <laughs> well, like, well, to be my but second striker. But what's the gap got to be? Because like, if Watkins gives me, I don't yeah, know, yeah, I'll pick Watkins. But if if Solanke smokes him on goals, I'm picking Solanke, bro. Like that's me. That's my. That's I'm not manager that's, though, isn't it? That's, yeah. that's just my logic that's, where that's I think. Reason for that. So hold on, you're taking both those guys over Nunez then? What? Yeah, because they both have more goals than If English. what? If I'm England manager. I'm no, to no. But <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm thinking as the England manager. Okay. Ah. So Solanke was to smoke. But different Watkins. rules for Liverpool, for example. Yeah. Would you if replace <laughs> that one in the summer? No, no, no. Not, not now. Not now. Summer no. in the summer. No, 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 no. Even if that one doesn't get double figures? <laughs> this summer, I wouldn't replace him. Not this summer. Even if he doesn't get double figures? <laughs> not this summer. 
All right. He will get double so figures. So you, you pick, you say Watkins, second striker for England. Watkins as well. Watkins yeah, himself. Same. Watkins. Watkins clean. All right. Sweet. Another question is, um, Vinny, big Vinny, company. Oh. <laughs> is he surviving the season? And for me, he shouldn't survive, but I think I feel like Burnley are kind of like committed with this. But the the work that he's doing, it's it's worrisome. If I'm a Burnley fan, you could say maybe in that game, obviously they showed a bit of character. Ten men pulling it back to character ain't keeping you in this league, bro. You know, penalty that is what they lost to. But I I fully agree. Burnley are naive, man, and that comes from the manager. Honestly, like it's too naive. Like you look at, they might be a better footballing team than Luton, but Luton for me are better equipped to stay in this division because they all understand their roles. They just know what they have to do. Burnley are are like they enter every game thinking they can play like the champagne football. I understand, like okay, stay true to your ethos if you want, but it's naive. They're going down to the championship. Luton try and minimize the risks. I don't feel like Burnley try and do that. No, that's a good. They almost bait it if that Mm. makes sense. And it's like I said, that will work in a championship. And it was the similar thing that Norwich did a few years ago. I said, it's all well and good dominating in the championship and playing the champagne football there. But once you come to the Premier League, you must have a plan B. Go for plan A if you want. Yeah. Try it for the first it's month true. or two. If no it plan. doesn't work, yeah. you must have a plan B. And in January, I'll be I'll be interested to see who he kind of adds to it. And if he does change mm. for the second half of the season, because that's when you need a Guardiola bringing those like guys from the championship that yeah. know what they're doing. Guardiola, you know fucking Charlie Austin yes. or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come back a couple of them yeah, dogs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's what you need, man. A Craig Dawson or something. Yeah. yeah, hey Trust Dawson, you. serious bro. You, if Ham, you're ever in the trenches, Watford, yeah. That's who you call upon. Them that's type of man, bro. Yeah, we'll hire Neil Warnock too. Yeah, yeah. That's Rose what's going to keep you in the division, <laughs> bro. Leave. Thanks. That's what's, what's going to keep you up. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you might not be playing champagne football, but those guys, they'll, they'll keep you up, bro. Thanks, thanks, thanks. All right, let's, uh, let's go to the next game. We are going to Manchester City. Okay, mm. Man City, they're playing against Sheffield United at home. Mm. Um, and obviously, they got a 2-0 comfortable win with Rodri and Alvarez scoring. Phil Foden has been spoken about a lot oh, The recently. luxury player, eh? The luxury player oh, with the both the assists. Uh, yeah, yeah. 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 In my team as well. Is he? He's in yeah. my team. I got him this week. Uh, man. Mm. Same. Respect. Mm. Swapped him out for DRB. DRB got seven points for certain people. So that's cute. I want double digits though. Nah. I want someone that can get Well, you want 12. double digits? Pause. <laughs> that was crazy. Oh, we're not doing... Oh, come on. No I, I don't wait, get wait, what a pause what? is. What? what? I want double right, digits. No, that was ruined. Continue. Yeah. No, 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 I don't get it. I didn't get that one. So Wait. that was in an American continue, one. Continue, continue, <laughs> continue, 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 continue. Don't edit it now. Continue, uh. continue. I don't get it. Yeah. <laughs> I want double digits. That's a double yeah. digit. I, I don't, I don't know, know what that, what that is. is. Double I digits. Still, I'm still going to have a view. Continue, man. Continue, continue. Let's think out. What was your thought process on that? I don't want to talk about it. Do you want to unpack that for us? Bro, you got three grown men scrambling their brains at what the pause is for double digits. So... How is double digits horse? Is that what you meant? What's that? Ra, you papa went. I want uh, double digits. <laughs> you inverted into the question. Yes. Oh, man. Continue. Damn, what a way to yeah, start 2024, man. <laughs> that's crazy. So that was a bit hard. This guy's fucked. I'm gonna lie, I'm nice. <laughs> it's, it's that material jacket. I love that material. It's nice to slap. <laughs> 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 I can't get my hands off. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Continue, continue, continue. Now that you did that, yeah, you know what just randomly <laughs> came to my head. What the hell happened to Connor Wickham? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> no, no, I'm just thinking of it. Like, where, where is he? Oh, he was meant oh to be God. the next big thing, and that. What made you think of that? Like, I don't know. <laughs> it just came out of my head, like, Connor Wickham. Like, so now, that, now that you did that. <laughs> no, no, do you remember, like, glitch his brain, time, bro. I remember, he was at Palace, last I remember. He was injured, wasn't he? Last I remember. He was at bad long injuries, Number bro. 10 for Palace, last I remember. Oh, I remember hey, at Sunderland. Connor Wickham, where's he at, Asim? Uh, uh, Stockport, son. Cardiff. Cardiff. Is that Cardiff? You know what's at Cardiff, by the That's way? all right. James Justin's at no, Cardiff. he's a free agent right now. He's a free agent. Oh, he's a free agent. Oh, James Justin's at Cardiff. And then where is he before Cardiff? Palace. For a screen rovers. And then before then? Crystal Palace. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I want to know. And then MK before Dons. MK Dons? Like, I want to know where. Preston. And then Wait. Sheffield United. What did he play for Palace then? Uh, so before Sheffield United. Right. So he played for like five teams since Palace. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He used to be at Ipswich, right? Yeah. 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 He was and that's where he deviated this whole conversation. <laughs> and he why took, he took the attention off me, bro. Why did you shut my back, fam? That's what you get. You subbed his best and you said Connor Wickham. Yeah. It woke him up a little bit. But f- forget Connor Wickham, it's about Phil Foden. Okay, Phil Foden with two assists. Um, what a player. Man put player. one rating on foot mob. Like, this guy had a great game. Um, yeah, it's his new personal best at the moment for most assists uh, in, in the Premier League season. Six 
Is his new pro- no, can he get double digits? No Easy. pauses here. I think easily. Easily. Yeah? I think. I think he can get double digits. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He can definitely get double digits. <laughs> 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 Yo! Yo! Lava! 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 Why for that? <laughs> no, no, pause on that. Hey. <laughs> That's so childish, man. <laughs> This guy is the esteemed Algerian journalist <laughs> on Netflix <laughs> and is giggling over double digits. Where's the professionalism? I love it. That's some hype, bro. Where's the professionalism? Hey, man. Um, but yeah, last time, uh, that's a city clean sheet for the first time since the 29th of October as well, against Man United, actually, when he beat us 3-0. Since yeah. then, they haven't kept a clean sheet, so it's good on them to finally keep a clean sheet. Um, questions. Uh, Man City only five points off the top of the table. Is the title still theirs to lose, Fuizi? Or is it yours to lose now? Very good question, Javi. <laughs> That's what we one, do. We, 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 like we bring great questions, questions. questions. You have to be politically correct with this. No, you don't. Yeah, yeah, with this. Because we know what City's on. Like, you, you've you experienced it for one season. I have. Um, I can't. behind you three. Yeah, yeah no, game we, can't, well. we can't write City. I mean, we... we but look, I'm now, not saying right them off. I'm saying is it theirs to lose. Now that I'm in so a position... The as well. Now that I'm in a position where I'm at, yeah. we got a big, big game, March the 9th, and that's against City. Mm. That's going to be massive... In terms of who's edging, who's edging it? Is it them or us? March is a while away because the table could look a lot different. <laughs> I put a lot to be first, bro. <laughs> put a lot to be first. That was <laughs> not fair, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you looked at me first, bro. <laughs> you, I did. No. I did. Well, 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 well. <laughs> See what I did? <laughs> sorry, sorry. No, like different, fam. <laughs> but you were edging, sorry. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> <laughs> See, I told you. I'll look bad. out. I'm smart. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was trying so hard to keep it in there. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, yeah. So March 9th. It's not. I, I don't. Mean, between now and March 9th, a lot can change in the title. I mean, you're not in it. <laughs> you're not in it. You're not in it. So don't. Put, I don't want your input in yeah. terms of who's. March 9th. Lose. It could be second, be third that game. I know, but you're not in it. Okay. I want to talk about <laughs> us. The it. question was, is it City's type to lose right now, even though they are five points behind you with the game in hand? Yeah. So it's their title to lose still. Yeah. But well, you so were saying we're going to win the league, we're the best. Blah, blah, blah. We are though, we are So the you best. were fake pumping. I wasn't fake pumping, so but I'm saying that to lose. man can't write off City, bro. Fake I've been I've, I've been in this position. There's you a difference man. between not writing them off and saying it's theirs to lose. So theirs to lose means they're most likely to win it right now. The league's now. not for anyone's to lose in January, man. This is what all What do you know about the league? Talk. I've won 13 of them, bro. Yeah, but how many, you, how many was you here for? Huh? How many was you here for? Like six of them, bro. We don't. Hey, we don't have one league in 30 years, years bro. What the hell is this guy talking about? When's the last about? time you won the league? What, 2013? In that time, you guys have won when, one league When title. Rooney was uh, slim. <laughs> when Rooney was slim and he's was prime. a little stocky back then. <laughs> oh, come on, fam. That's 2013. Come on, a lot of changes then, bro. Those, man. He wasn't even circumcised. It was late still. I got sex as late That's still. what I'm saying. So it's different. <laughs> See, I told you. I'll see. Not that late, not that late. Yeah, crazy. 2006 or something. But, um... To answer your question, Sharky, I think it, it's very difficult said to yes. answer. Okay, you said yes. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> Thank you. It's, very, it's, it's still very open difficult. for all three teams. Well, next, qu- next question. Phil Foden, still a luxury player? No, and he hasn't no. been one for a Can while. I get your thoughts on this? Because you wasn't on the table last week. Yeah, I think if he made this take in like 2019 or something like that, then okay, maybe I could understand. But Phil Foden is honestly just unlucky, in my opinion, the last few seasons that he's been playing in the best team, and for me, the world, mm-hmm. under the best manager, in the same position that he'd like to play with the best well, in his position. unlucky. I think to play for the best. He's unlucky, but he's unlucky to play for the best team in the world. Best manager. That sounds pretty lucky to me. He he, okay. In terms of like, you talk about a city pep education before we talk Cole Palmer. It seems pretty lucky to me. Absolutely, it depends on how you want to look at it, right? I mean, in terms of like these discussions, being given the opportunity. Yeah, in terms of like the way he's being perceived by 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 some people, I think he's unlucky. But the thing is, he hasn't been given the opportunity. In for me, what is his best position? And that's the down ten. the middle. I said start of the season. I think KDB going out, down. I think out wide, he kind of reached the ceiling in terms of how good you could get from Phil Foden on the left or on the right. Like it was a good level, but in that central position where he kind of has the freedom to roam in these positions yeah. and, and and find space in between, his ceiling is almost limitless in my opinion. I think he's that good. So is he a luxury player? Absolutely not. And bro. I think when he's one of the most talented l- players in this position when in the you talk world. About a luxury player, you talk about like someone who you cater the system to, so you can hide his deficiencies. Yeah, yeah. I feel like he's someone who says. You pick the position for me and I'll play a minimum eight mm-hmm. out of 10, I feel like. Mm-hmm. And this season, he's just taken to it like a duck to water. We kept saying, give him the keys. Let's see how he does. This season, he's round with the keys, bro. So yeah. this game, I just felt like he heard all that Lee Van Waffle and said, all right, watch and, this. And the thing, with, the thing with Foden, the reason I say he's unlucky, okay, I understand what you're saying too. 
Foden would be the star guy on Arsenal. Foden would be the star guy at United. Everybody. Foden would be the Everybody. star guy at Spurs. Foden would be the star guy at Chelsea. Mm -hmm. We would none of this talk about luxury player yeah, would, would be. Would he existing. be as good as, as he is at Spurs, at Chelsea, at yeah. Arsenal? Ma no, no. Ma hold on. He might. This great. Uh, he, he, might, he might. He might. Team, he might. Not, manager. He might. He might not be as good, but he would have had the chance to be in the limelight all the time. He's had to basically bide his time, getting minutes here, minutes there, coming off the bench. You're, he's Some always players would have fizzled he's, out he's, by he's second season compared of to that. Players, and I don't again. I'm not trying to diss soccer here, but is Saka starting every single game uh, for Manchester City the last few years? No, he would have had to bite his time and stuff as well too. So he's not unlucky in terms of the development he's got. He's won plenty of trophies, won Young Player of the Year. But in terms of like his status, how we're talking about him now, we would have been talking about him, in my opinion, about this long before this season. In yeah, my opinion, facts. Yeah, but, you know, drop. Yeah, I yeah. mean, I, I mean, I agree with everything you got. So I'm just saying, like, of course, he, he wouldn't. I, I, him at City and the development he's at at City, he wouldn't get anywhere else. So it's like, it's not a bad thing that valid, he's had. Valid, valid. Do you know what I mean? It's not a bad, yeah. it's, it's, it's unlucky it's, is maybe not the right yeah, word. Yeah, he's not, I, I wouldn't say he's unlucky. I think he's very lucky to be, you know, because I think Saka's unlucky, for example, because he's had to carry Arsenal for a, lot, for a long time, you know? Yeah, I'm talking more so in terms Even of the how the public perceive you, because a lot of people think Foden, oh, he doesn't score important goals. He's irrelevant. He's just another player in the team. Most no, of the young not, players in this country that. would be in that same role, if, if even less, if they were in Foden's shoes. Oh, yeah. of course, for sure, for sure. And last question on this game, Sheffield United, we all, yeah, they're pretty much going down. They're rock bottom in the league. Would they go down as one of the worst teams, Premier League teams nah, of all time? Nah, no. Nah. Go down. Nah, no. Derby. They were, that's probably they were the, one of. That's the worst. No. But where do Sheffield rank in that? I think even if in that game, I think people expected a higher scoreline. People would have predicted fours, fives. I think they've done well to keep the scoreline down for most of the games. It's just a bit of, Brilliance from Phil Folder. Mm. I think Cameron Archer and McAtee will give them some kind of youthful exuberance for the second half of the season. I don't think they will go down as badly as maybe in the first half of the season. They'll go down swinging. That's mm. how I look at it. Mm. But yeah, I, I don't think they'll be one of the worst teams in Prem history, if you like. All right, let's move on now. We're Wolves versus Everton. Um, first time Wolves have scored three plus goals in successive league games since uh, February to March 2020, when they scored three against Norwich and three against Spurs. Uh, and it's the first time Wolves have won by a three-plus goal margin in successive games since 2017, which they Jeez. did against Leeds and Bolton. Uh, before we get into Wolves, actually, Everton have been giving them a lot of praise recently when they went in a good run, but now that's three losses on the trot for them, albeit two of them were Spurs and Man City. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, now they lost 3-0 to Wolves, which isn't a great result. And now they're seen... Uh, in one point above the relegation zone. And if Luton were to win their game in hand over them, Everton are in the relegation zone. So we're giving them a lot of praise, but now it's looking like it's a bit, looking a bit rocky for them right now. Um, That's your word of the day. <laughs> oh, That's not his word, it's accent of the day. <laughs> yeah, I'm from South Africa. Bro. Um, so yeah, listen, Everton, of course, are back to struggling right now. Wolves, though, we'll speak about Wolves for a bit. 3-0 win. Mm. Kilman, Cunha and Dawson with the goals. Two defenders scoring goals. And Cunha actually... Continue to have a good season. Um, you're a Wolves fan right now. Yeah. Um, yeah, so will they be back in European contention very soon? Mm, no. <laughs> I, I think I think there's like, the way I'm looking at the league, I think the top eight, there's a pretty big distinction. Maybe top eight, top nine to the rest of the league. Mm -hmm. I think Wolves are really good. I think they have a lot of really talented players. Like I had Nori. Oh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I the first mm. player you mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, every time I had Nori. <laughs> What, what about Huang and Cunha? Why is, why, why why is the left wing about the first guy you mentioned? Because he's born oh, in Algeria. Oh, because mm. Algeria. I'm an Algerian journalist, bro. I have to talk about my players. <laughs> <laughs> what, I, what, when he said they got good players, I just, bro, I could have put everything I own. That the first name that's going to come out of his mouth is I know. Ryan Adnuri. It's so predictable. Mon frère. Uh, oh. We have him. Uh, I said we have him. They have him, of course. Uh, Huang, is, Huang has been unbelievable this season, especially yeah. since Neto's been out. Cunha, but the one I like a lot too is Lemina. Yes. yes. I think Lamina, I always looked at him at Southampton like, you, you might have something about you. I mean, usually not Juve, I think mm -hmm. at one point. But um, at Wolves especially, I've Go liked his level, level this year. Sure. Yeah. I think now he's obviously missed that it's game. It's a big miss now for him, yeah. Yeah, with his dad, I think, mm -hmm. passing away. So, mm -hmm. But yeah, I like that team. You like Gary O'Neill, my guy. Gary O'Neill, your guy, yeah. for sure. I mean, I want to hear from the Wolves fan before we ask you some questions. Uh, before I ask Wolves, you got some questions. We've got probably not a son who's a Wolves fan who always contributes to the episodes. It says, um, eight unbeaten at home with our last loss at home being Liverpool away from home. Um, with our last loss at home being Liverpool away from home. That doesn't make sense. Does it make sense to you? No. Maybe. You, may, you know what that means? What? We, we, we played them twice. We played them home and away and we smote them. Now, nah, but it says eight unbeaten at home mm. with our last loss at home mm. 
being Liverpool away from home. Liverpool away and Liverpool at home. We beat we beat, we beat them. What? So we bro, played them in the bro, Carabao what? Cup once. We beat bro, them, and we and we Their beat them. Their last loss at home was Liverpool. We beat them back to back, bro. We yeah, had them two games in a row, and that's what he's that's what he's trying to say. He doesn't. Shock. That's what he's trying to say. Eight unbeaten at home. Basically, let's just with break our it last down. loss at home. Yeah. Was being Liverpool, Liverpool away from home and Liverpool away from home. Yeah, but I, I get but it. Away from I get it. I get it. Do you get? It? <laughs> yeah, Liverpool, Liverpool is their loss basically. They no, but Liverpool two L's away from home. Liverpool. That's not a loss at home if it's away from home. It, they, we beat them home and away. Yeah, but he's talking about. Did, hold on, is this even true? No, we, they beat they beat the Wolves at Wolves ground. That's their last loss at home. Correct. Yeah, where's this? this and they're saying back to back. There's nothing not even there. Back to back, bro. Oh, please. please, I'm looking. Please, we're looking at it right now. So I'm looking. You beat them in September 16th. Yeah. And then after? What was that in then the Prem? After they played Luton, yeah. Was that in the Prem? Yeah. Yeah, but what, what in the Carabao? Carabao? They went out to Ipswich. Exactly. What the hell is this guy talking about? <laughs> they lost to the Ipswich. You laugh. Right. <laughs> 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 That's just so <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'm so confused. What's wrong? We're just wasting you guys. We're just wasting you guys. We're just wasting you guys. You're not normal. You're not okay in the head. <laughs> <laughs> I have a plan. I will execute. And the thing is, he goes, look at Hasib. He's like, Hasib, look at him. <laughs> you know what? Hasib, look at this fake scenario I just made. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he probably not a son. He tried to help you. He tried to help you. No, no. He tried to help you. You know what the truth? I'm really dead. I'll try to keep quiet. What's the truth? Continue. Yeah, yeah. What's the truth? No, no, no. It's calm. Oh, is it nothing for the pod? Yeah. Why do you say that? Oh, is it worth keeping for later in the pod? Oh, you know it. I'm he does so know. It. Yeah, I do know. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, okay. You're just turning the paper. Uh, our last has been Liverpool away from home. Um, as well, back to back. See? Continue. As well, back to back games with three or more goals makes it seem obvious that Gary O'Neill is cooking something at this club and has been working brilliantly considering the fact that he lost 17 players with key players like Neves, Nunes, and Matinho all leaving the club. Uh, he has done an excellent job and he might actually be contender for manager of the season if he continues with his exciting and free-flowing football. A clean sheet was the icing on the cake. We shut down the little attack, uh, attacking threat Everton had and was an excellent defensive display from the team. Overall, a great win, which puts us 13 points clear relegation and equal on points with Chelsea and in a strong position at the end of the year. In brackets, Faisal, I'm going to need an apology if you're on that table. You ain't getting shit from yeah. Faisal, bro. No, Faisal, Bournemouth could get relegated. Wolves could win the Premier League. He still ain't giving you an apology, bro. I yeah, know yeah, that yeah. guy. Faisal oh, wouldn't apologize. He's not well, here, but he wouldn't apologize. Well, give them props, though. Wolves. After what? After what you just? Yeah, I didn't really sure. deep it like that. Yeah, Seventeen players and stuff like. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, it's, if, and it's with, big players, with the, fam. With the Wolves, Bournemouth, yeah, like both is, teams. The both teams kind of won. Who? A Wolves and Bournemouth, like you know how like Wolves lost and Bournemouth lost. Oh, oh Wolves, they swapped. Wolves, yeah, yeah, they yeah. got a new manager. I feel like both teams are kind of happy. I mean, they're, they're both literally 11 Yeah, they're 12. both happy. They are eleventh or twelfth in the league as well. And literally, if Bournemouth win the game in hand, they're joint on points. Yeah, yeah. No, no. You see how life works, though. Yeah, what? It's just like the grass is not always greener <laughs> oh, on the other guys. side. Yeah. Just swap. Just swap. Just swap. They didn't swap though. They, they did. Didn't swap. Where did it come from? <laughs> Wolves. No, but if like he did, basically he did. Bro, his brain has melted. I swear to you, his brain has fully <laughs> melted, bro. I'm telling you. So I'm gonna pose the first question to you then, because you saw like you're pretty active. Obviously, Everton <laughs> lost this game three 0 Uh how badly do you reckon Everton need a forward in January? Because obviously they do have Beto, but he's not scoring goals. Uh, PCL, you know what? Yeah, yeah. They went. Do you think they need a forward in January? And if so, they, how bad? So even though they lost three on the trot, you said yeah. I feel like they've the been deducted. This game, deep yeah. hit those sharks, yeah. They've been deducted ten points. Correct. What would that? Where would that put them in the league? Uh, if they had an extra ten points, they will be on twenty six points. So they'll be in just in between Wolves and Bournemouth. That's safe. Actually. They'll be That's safe. The both. Yeah, comfortably yeah, safe. already safe. So it's like it's not really a disaster of a season. But they don't get Obviously, those ten points back. I know bro. they don't get. That's the thing. So I feel like they gotta work extra hard, bro. I feel like you lot need a striker more than they need a striker. If you get what I'm saying. Okay, that's not really. But do you get what I'm? Do you get that analogy? I hear it. I hear yeah, it. it's not like, an analogy. It's just, you just said a, 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 a statement, <laughs> and that There's statement no analogy is, there. It is an analogy. <laughs> What's that analogy? It, do you know what is. analogy means? Yeah, I do. I just, I just gave you one. What does an analogy mean? What does it mean? I just gave you one. That wasn't. He said, "I thought you need so a striker." Oh, sorry. You, a you went Oxford Uni. You, said a yeah? you went Oxford Uni. Did you go Oxford Uni? You don't know about Oxford. Your thing's Harvard. You don't need to go Oxford to. That's what you're trying to tell me, though. 
But yeah, I don't think well they definitely need a striker, but I don't think it's desperate, desperate time still. I have faith in Sean Dyche, man. I I like him still, I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah. I feel like he's proper old school mentality, whereas all you lot are just trying to bring this new thing to football and it's just relax, bro. So this what's is too much? Klopp is amazing. More old school. <laughs> <laughs> no, Klopp, Klopp, Klopp is just he's a superstar, fam. Klopp Klopp is amazing. Like Klopp is you know what Klopp is? <laughs> he rocks your water. No, no, yeah, yeah. He let me tell you, let me tell you what Klopp is. Klopp is uh, 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 Michael Jackson, that he doesn't need auto tune, whereas these other new managers they need auto tune for their tracks. Mm. Klopp don't need auto tune. Mm. Klopp, that's genius. That's an analogy. Yeah. That's, Klopp, genius. Klopp, that's, genius. that's the analogy. Yeah, well, that's why I'm giving you an analogy. Yeah, eventually, I'm giving you an analogy. Like Klopp is that. Sean Dyche is proper old school. Like, okay, he he reminds me of like, like the back of the day managers. Yeah. They might not be great, but like. They were managers. Yeah, but old Such school. Some Sam old school, Allardyce, some old school musicians, Warnock. their music doesn't transcend, doesn't work today. Like who? I'm saying, you're saying Sean Dyche is one that it like works Like Eminem, now. it don't hit anymore, bro. LMFAO. Huh? <laughs> 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 what what? example? <laughs> <laughs> what a random example. L-L-O. Who the hell is that, man? Random example. Is that what you're listening to? The music. Jig on it. Play all night. This shit didn't translate to these days. <laughs> That's what really four but, years old. But, but <laughs> you say Daesh is like a timeless musician. Like, once I, again, I, I Michael Jackson. Think, like, just like what he said before. And I said in the poll where he's like, get the ball, get it back in the net. That's all we need to do, boys. Yeah, well, they need, they're not, they have the, the strikers yeah. that are doing <laughs> it. Now, eventually they'll get there. By signing a striker in January? They sign a striker, but it's not like desperate. They're not okay. like cutting. I don't think they'd like, you know what I mean? They're not cutting out to get a manager. They, they're calm, man. Okay. They're going to be safe. Okay. Let's move on. Hold on, hold on. I have a question for you. Yeah. If Luton aren't going down and yeah. Everton aren't going down, who's going down? <laughs> no, I said I said Luton might just scrape it. Yeah, so yeah. yeah. But now, because we're working game by game, yeah. I can say, yeah, you know what? It's Pete. Yeah. Everton, I don't think they're gonna be in a relegation battle. I'm being yeah. real. There might be I one agree. point now, but I don't think they're gonna be in that. So relegation is it gonna be battle. the next team I'm gonna speak about? Brentford going away to Palace. Never know. Brentford are not the same Brentford as before, fam. They're not. They're literally they're not the 16th same. place. This is not the same Thomas. It's your boy, isn't it? Huh? Who's used to claim him last Thomas year? Thomas Frank, yeah. It's your oh, boy, yeah, bro. that's my boy. Thomas Frank. Yeah, he's not the same. Yeah, he What's that in this year, bro? Palace. Look, man. Some of my, his strikers are too busy about SDS mm. <laughs> compared to scoring goals, bro. And we're injured now for a long time. They're just, yeah, yeah, <laughs> they care more about podcasting, bro. <laughs> It, yeah, but then, score some but goals. Then, but then we got Palace's forwards. We got flipping Alise <laughs> right there, you know, and Ayu right here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have that. Yeah. <laughs> I see you, Ayu. <laughs> <laughs> Boo wants to go on to me, yeah? You know, like, <laughs> Boo no, <laughs> They used to call me Diva Karigi, though, do you see it? <laughs> they called me Diva Karigi back in the day. Don't disrespect him like that again. You don't see it. Don't, don't disrespect him like that. You don't see it. In he terms would be of honored to be compared to me. Who? Divok. No, he wouldn't. He would, man. He wouldn't. I don't wait, you let me deep it. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I free one to Palace. Okay, go. Yeah. What were you gonna say? No, no, it was about Rigi, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. I genuinely like. I miss him. Is still. he a Liverpool legend or is uh, he a cult he, hero? He's a cult hero. Yeah, he is for sure. But like, if you, if people call him legend, I wouldn't even argue. Like a Champions like, League win. It was he, Champions League win. The stuff he, he scored in the final and the semi final, helping us win the Premier League as well. Like important games, getting us to the top four. Obviously, he knows him proper. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. Champions League thing. <laughs> <laughs> even, it's not even about him scoring against Tottenham. Uh, it's the Barcelona game for me. Yeah, of course. Uh, so like, he'll always be, just him, that game, yeah. That, two, two goals. Yeah. Don't forget, Genie scored two in that game as well. Genie did score two. Genie did score two, but Origi for me. And the Merseyside derby winner. Yeah. yeah, Castle. yeah. We made this whole segment. Right? Amazing. <laughs> scored against us in the, in the cup. Who five had four, I, when he beat I, us 5-4. I, I think everyone scored against you. <laughs> <laughs> left back, right back, <laughs> center back. I mean, the whole, the whole gang scored against uh, you. But um, Palace, yeah, Palace versus Brentford, three-one Palace. Mm. Um, yeah, I mean, oh, Michael Elise, Elise show, double <laughs> like one of the goals as well. Talking about the, the Cole Palmer, just that brilliance. Elise had one of the, the second goals as well. So one of them was, was like brilliance of of Michael Elise. 
He declares another for Algerian. Set man are worried. I think Algeria's his last choice, though, by the way. Huh? He ain't going yeah, nowhere. He's not going to Nigeria. Nigeria. Don't worry about it. Why us. point him? I'm not Nigerian. He goes to the culture camps. That's not culture camps, bro. I got PTSD right there. Where in the family tree is the Algeria side from? Huh? My, my whole family's Algerian. Not you, fam. <laughs> yes? Oh, for him. What are you talking about? <laughs> Oh, you're talking. Oh, well, Lisa. Yeah, imagine like your family. I'm not. 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 i am what? Beef for something else. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, beef. <laughs> <laughs> right, this is listen, crazy. At least say, listen, at least say double. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say beef for something else? Listen, bro? at least say double. <laughs> at least say double. Uh, and, and Eze as well scored. So, like, you know what I mean? That's the, yeah, the show. you know, those two as well. Mm. Those two are obviously the, the stand up players for that yeah. team, you know, mm. the, 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 the they come from the Fouad mold, you know, the dreads and all stuff. That, that, no, they're very much players I love. I can't lie. <laughs> yeah, don't they don't play like Fouad. But players, <laughs> everyone, they don't no, no, play nothing like Fouad. But hey, come on, man. Let, let that run. <laughs> bro, you're Alfie Gilchrist. Bro. You know what? I like the kid, though. I can't lie. I'm investing small, small stock in him. You're Alfie Gilchrist. I love him. Uh, Palace, man. But yeah, but yeah, great result for Palace. <laughs> yeah, great result for Palace. Uh, but obviously not so great for, for Brentford. Mm, Brentford obviously so won 1-0 up as well of Lewis Potter scoring the first goal the game right at the start of the game actually and the thing is they're in trouble now because they even though they, they are four points clear of the drop which is very close their next uh, game against Forest is very important and Forest have been very good recently as you've seen of Espirito Santos is revival of the team because after Forest they got Spurs City Wolves Liverpool West Ham Chelsea and Arsenal that's Yeesh. tough bro they could see themselves and their in form a right now the position. momentum is going straight down yeah exactly so <laughs> so 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 Brentford are in a tough place so Hey, and actually, an important question is: Should they keep Ivan Tony to the end of the season? Should he? Hundred percent. Sh- and should he want to stay? Yes. And say, I got to finish his job. Well, he's on. He's on a contract, so yeah. he, he must. He's on stay. a contract, so he yeah. Has I, no know, I know, but, but I'm saying, if he want, if he can, he can leave. Like, no, I still think he he, mm. he should stay and finish the season out. Go and get your form back. You get more respect. Yeah, that way. I feel like going Fam. and moving to Arsenal, for example, you're putting your, that pressure on yourself immediately to get into the Euro. He's not played. Yeah. I hear you. Uh, no, 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 you're right. No but this is football, bro. Like. You you staying could be the difference of you staying and nobody ever will ever want you, bro. Facts, facts. It's true. Yeah, football. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I hear it. Nobody will ever want it's you. True. You got to move when you want. You got to move. Strike right, yeah, the iron's football's hot. quick. Bro. Strike while the iron's Before hot you know it, there'll be another striker. Boom, come yeah. out of the woodwork. He's yeah. cheap. Let's get him. Boom, and then now the Arsenal offer might never come again. Yeah, you're stuck in Brentford. Plus for now. Brentford too. Hey. You have to call Thomas. Hey, it's Brentford saying Gaffer is Thomas, fam. Br- Br- don't this Brentford, bro. Hey, it's a bus stop in Hounslow. Yeah, what do you mean? Yeah, it's bus nice stop in Hounslow, man. What, the community stadium? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's it's calm. But yeah, it's cool. I, it's Some credit. people can watch the games from their flat, you know. Who? The balcony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The stadium, Brentford Stadium. Some people. Yeah, people, people can watch it from their balcony. Like Leighton Orient. <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah but... <laughs> do you remember? <laughs> do you remember Rebel when they it? So they still got the footage. They don't release well, it. Well, like, huh? You yeah, yeah. He was there. It. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 And we were outside. Yeah, yeah, we still yeah. people cleaning the kitchen. <laughs> um, Shout uh, me, long day. But yeah, Tony, That's really long fam, day. if you're hearing this, bro, skedaddle. Skedaddle. Yeah, no, never no, used no, that no, word. You have to, bro. I'm gonna be real. Skedaddle. Skedaddle now, bro, because it's like. It's football, bro. Career I short. think even for Brentford, right? Don't if you get a hundred million there. pounds tomorrow, are you really turning that down? Nah, Especially nah, if you get relegated, nah, nah, nah. and all of a sudden that might be halved. So, yeah, I don't know. We've I seen it happen. They've got, they've got off of like seventy-five plus, in my opinion. To, but I think for them, I think they'll probably stay anyway, even with or without Tony. In my opinion, you but reckon? I think it just secures them that extra bit. And if he stays, scores the goals, what 10, 11 to the end of the season? Yeah. That move he's is still gonna going to be And he's still going to England. Uh, yeah, your, Euros. Have faith in your Who? ability, bro. If he stays and scores 10, like he said, scores, say score 10, he'll I'm still go to the Euros. At where? Brentford? 10 league goals. From January to the end of the season. That's a mad thing. So that's easier that's said than done, bro. That's, that's a mad thing. If, if he does that, he does that that's crazy. Tough. Shout me. I want to say in the yard, man. That's not He's standing in Brumps. So it can happen. Yeah, he's the penalty. It could, yeah. Yeah. True. Okay, one oh, last thing. If he scores 10, Watson staying in Birmingham, fam. Who? Watson from what? Watkins. Locked in. Watkins. What? Something about locked in. <laughs> he's, not in he, he's in China right now. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's like saying that he's linking his girl. I don't know. I don't think. I don't think. What the hell's going on? Right 
But yeah, if he scores 10, if you last saying he's going to score 10, then yeah, Solanke and them, yeah, Bournemouth, he's going to be near Portsmouth and that. <laughs> they're, not, they're not going nowhere. They're not going nowhere. It's a mad thing. But do you know what's very interesting, yeah? What's interesting? When they yeah. ask Roy Hodgson, how do you keep the players motivated? He said, we all grew up to PDC. What? Mm. He said, we just, yeah. He said, he said we grew up to souls in them. Yeah, he said, we grew, this is a, a group that grew up to PDC. Croydon's finest. PDC. Google it. You see, Google the laptop's there. He said, we grew up to PDC, and I was like, PGC. PDC. No, oh, what's PDC? It's a crew. Yeah. It's not a crew, it's, it's, a, it's, like, a, it's like a. It's like a. It's like a yeah, collective. What in 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 South London? In in, in the eighties, fam. Professional some. darts corporation. <laughs> <laughs> darts corporation. No, not a dance. He said, "Wow, guys, they grew up to me." You see, fair. <sighs> and like, does he really sound like Max to Darts? 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 Yeah, for real. <laughs> oh, Max to Darts sounds like Roy. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how I, don't even, I can't remember how Roy awesome. sounds? Now. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not too <laughs> Well, one of my boy, 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 boy. You heard him as a man. You should know how he oh, sounds. Oh, well, oh my God! He, I nearly. No, I don't want to say what. You I'm should gonna know say. how he sounds. He's the worst, fam. But big up, big up to uh, Way because what yeah. he's doing right now. Way, way. Let's hear from Keenan Lo. Over me. Say yeah. no. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel like you're good anywhere. I'm Keenan telling Lo. you facts, fam. Keenan Lo is a fan of Brentford. Yeah, yeah Brentford. Says, there's not really much to say at this point. Five losses to end 2023 is such a disappointing low given the highs Brentford have seen this year. After Lewis Potter's goal in the second minute, the Bees were absolutely uh, thoroughly outplayed. What an uninspiring performance that was from a side that desperately needs points. Uh, Brentford have conceded four to Wolves and three to Palace in back-to-back matches. They haven't kept the clean sheet since October. I honestly believe SDSFC could score one or two on the Bees right now. (laughs) (laughs) Who's he up to I'm on it. Are you gonna point it. He, he hasn't got any prints for SSFC. Neither do you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't have any. Neither does Lias. Oh, he, he used to play for SSFC. Oh, bro. Yeah, you got, you got, you got yeah, caps, yeah. 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 I swear. Yeah. Mm, no wonder. Ended. I remember what we were doing in the league. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, I saw your last appearance playing football, by the way. When? Oh, what? Oh, when I had them um, size um, five shoes. Yeah, fam. is that what you put? Yeah. That yeah. mashed up. I got bunions on my feet now. You ruined my toes. Uh, that broke his ankle with nobody around him, bro. It was, that, it was that whack ball shot gave me. I'm a shit ball. I gave you, and, and I, I tried to run for I it. I passed like the ball in front of him. It was into the shit. channel for him to run onto it. Yeah, but I dropped my shoulder. <laughs> I dropped my shoulder. It. Boom. Ah! There was no one around him to drop it. You know what That dropped my shoulder. You know what That dropped my shoulder. I dropped my shoulder, but I ripped his weight on his ankle. Yeah, my body can't move how it used to. Whatsoever. My body can't move how it used to. I clocked it. When you make fat jokes, this guy cries. This guy cries. All you gotta do is make a fat joke and this guy's crying, fam. <laughs> Sharks is a mess. Look, look, any fat jokes is crying. <laughs> nah, don't label me with look, that. Look, look. He called you Mersel. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> See, you thought I was Mersel. You were a mess that day. You're not bro. crying because of that. You're crying because of the fat jokes, man. <laughs> nah, don't do that. Don't do that. Took his glasses off. Right, let's, see, let's see if he cries. Imagine Sean doing a 100 meter sprint. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I don't want. <laughs> you know, I'm not the only one. <laughs> Everyone, <laughs> I'm not the only one laughing. <laughs> well, right. <laughs> you're, you're the worst. <laughs> you're the worst. You're actually the worst. <laughs> We're talking about Lewis Potter scoring. My face for doing jab- uh, javelin. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, <laughs> sorry. I'm so sorry, guys. This is, welcome to SDS if you're new here. <laughs> Uh, this is what we like to do. If you keep watching, you'll understand the characters we're talking about and why the jokes are so funny. <laughs> uh, and usually at this point in the show, it just derails. Oh, we're man. literally about to enter the last game, so please stick around. Uh, we are professional, I, I promise you. Uh, we have an Algerian journalist right here yeah, on yeah. Netflix. Uh, as yeah. you can see. <laughs> um, One, two, three, viva la <laughs> Keenan Lowe uh, finishes off by saying Thomas Frank needs to look at this side and realise that he does not currently have the players to play expansive attacking football at all. It would be nice to eventually get there, but with the injuries and suspensions that the bees have piled up, a more pragmatic approach is necessary to avoiding conceding multiple goals every week. The bees don't currently have the firepower to get anything point-wise out of a goal fest. Um... Yeah, I mean that's 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 it from that game. Obviously, good re- good result for Palace. Um, Rory Hodgson is he still the man? Should he leave soon? Should he finish the season and just hang he, up? He, he, let's be. 
<laughs> Whatever you're gonna I say, be think, careful. No, no, be no, careful no, no. what you're about to say. I don't yeah, think, yeah. No, no, just end your career there. <laughs> just, that's no, no, crazy. What you're no, about no, just end your end your career there because right now I feel like <laughs> when you're at Fulham, amazing. Yeah. Anything after that, bad. But now you're at Crystal Palace, you're doing a good job, bro. He's done pretty well after the year. <laughs> Stay after, there. After the year, he's done a pretty good job. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't stand this guy, man. <laughs> he's done a pretty good job. No, he might as well just stay there today and just ride it out, bro. Like, oh, ride the storm. Yeah, ride the storm, fam. You're, you're doing what? You're right keep- now, Crystal Palace fans, you're, you're doing great, man, because they tried to rush Vieira. Yeah, yeah. I guarantee they will never rush. They won't rush for it. No, nah, you can't. Nah, man. nah, nah. It's impossible. This man's a legend, bro. You can't. You can't, man. S- uh, the Swedish team tried to give him a lifetime contract when he was yeah, there. No, no, you can't. You can't rush Roy. Yeah, if exactly. you rush him now, it's a, <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, nah, it's a mad thing. It's <laughs> crazy. On to the final game of the game week, and it was actually played today. Well, at the time of recording, uh, it's West Ham versus Brighton. A, a two teams who are pretty exciting this season. Brighton, who haven't kept a single clean sheet this season, kept, got their first clean sheet. And West Ham, who have come off the back of beating United and Arsenal back to back, uh, they drew nil nil. Who would have thunk it? You know, there's a no, get, no. yeah, Brighton who don't. There's no nil nils in their season. It's the first nil nil, and like I said, West Ham just beat Arsenal and United back to back. This game did finish nil nil. Um, James Milner, obviously, his twenty third consecutive calendar year. This he's, now is his first appearance in twenty twenty four. He's now played. Every year in the Premier League since 2002, it's a sign though. Like it's 20. Yeah, kids need to l- years, look at, look at people like him and study him. That's honestly, bro, because this is longevity, fam. It's true. Like, like this is this is it's an art. It's a craft. Yeah. Like he literally he has he doesn't drink alcohol. He, after, right, after an interview. Yeah, like from young he decided like he's gonna stay away from that stuff. He knew he tried to elongate his career when he was a teenager. Like he made a mental decision and it's worked out because. 23 years into his career, still playing high level Premier League football, starting. Yeah. Bro, that's insane. Like, these Left. things, players are done, bro. Like, yeah. well, obviously, we're not footballers, but like, I mean, I'm, I just turned 28 and I've retired from foot myself because my body can't handle it. I keep getting injured. This guy's another, <laughs> almost, <laughs> that, I know, damn, I'm getting <laughs> old. So imagine, bro, imagine yeah. this guy, bro. Like, we got the two oldest statesmen yeah, on the sorry. podcast whoa, here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This guy combined the age of like 70. Do you know what I mean? Whoa, but, whoa. But, but Milner looks younger than them and feels younger than them the way yeah, he moves. Crazy. He's done really well. Don't do that. How uh, far away was I? Huh? I said you guys are combined age of 70. How, how far away was I? So what was it? I said you're gonna combine age of 70. I said how far away was I? Not far. It's not too far. Has bro. Milner has he pushed his own position. <laughs> 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 hey, where's Nick Powell and the man? <laughs> do you remember him? What's wrong with Where is he? <laughs> how do you know about these guys? <laughs> no, no, being real. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you slap him, he just names a random player. What? <laughs> 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 it's, like, it's like when you unplug and plug something back in. <laughs> it's like it just came up from a coma. Random <laughs> name generator. <laughs> like, I thought these men were going to be so here now, gonna like, doing a match in my title. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <surprised>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where he's gone. Hey. But um, yeah, big up to James Milner actually. Big up to James Warner um, for yeah, that indeed, for that man. fun for that for that interesting stat. He's been the longevity is insane. Um, it's, it was a nil nil draw. You know, I nearly cried when he left. <laughs> Milner, well, like, he, won, he, won, he won a Premier because you know what? It was so emotional. I was at the game, yeah, mm. and like I, I was next to his his mum and dad, and his mum and dad were crying, and I was like, rah, because I deeped it. This is probably this is his their last time. Seeing their son at like a big, big club where he won everything type of thing. It was sad, but yeah, that's it. That's <laughs> what, let me tell that cool story. Like I was there was cool last about game. That? <laughs> yeah, for Liverpool. For Liverpool. <laughs> yeah, what? what were you sat <laughs> with his mum and dad? Huh? You sat, with, you sat with his mum and dad? <laughs> <laughs> his mom and dad. <laughs> All his kids and that with their missing. I knew they were his kids. <laughs> you, they have Milner in the back of the shirt, fam. <laughs> no, who who else is going to cry <laughs> when Milner is when leaving Liverpool? Final who game of gonna, the season, surely. Who's going to cry? Yeah, there was your family. You said you And cry. I saw them leave <laughs> after to go to the, um, well, go to the pitch. <laughs> no, I'm sitting here and they're, they're, they're on the pitch. So they were near me. He was one of the films. He was one of his family. Not to you. I had a little talk. I pretend I was a mascot. I was sort of white kids. I don't have the mascot. Wait, what's your mascot again? What do you mean? Your mascot at Liverpool. The, the, the bird. Yeah, can we please, I, for me, I think this would be incredible SS content. Would you, if we can somehow line up in a magical world, you to be the mascot for one game, where the, the well, I would, and, I would, would you do it? I would wear it wait, from wait, wait, wait. My, my yard. <laughs> 
and jump on the train and go. Wait, wait, I'll wait, wear wait. it. Are you talking mascot in terms of wear the bird costume yeah. or yeah. be one of the kids? No, that wear the out? costume. That, that, no. that second one probably not going to happen. Yeah. But wear the costume. <laughs> oh. Tom, oh. There we go. Oh. Another fat joke. Oh. He's gonna, he's gonna cry. Virgil Van Dyke. Walking out with Bobby Moody. As in like, 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 who would win in the swim race? Faisal, Faisal, or Sean? Me, Faisal, or Sean swimming? Who'd win in 100 meters? Me, Faisal, or Sean? Listen, that's not what I was talking about. No one's finishing. I just said, because it was like, it's a kid. Faisal's drowning. He said, no one's finishing. No one's finishing. It's calm. <laughs> you I wouldn't brought, have that, bro. You brought that to yourself. No, no, it's not me, though. Me, he can say, I can take jokes. Oh, I just said, I can take jokes. Oh. Yeah. We know out of me, Faisal, and Sean, who's the most aggressive? <laughs> so who's, gonna, gonna, who's gonna get angry and take, take it? I don't know. Take it further. I, Leash! <laughs> I just said, it's not likely because you're, you're gonna adult, catch him in the EDL grown, match. You're a grown adult, so it's not likely, right? That's what I said, right? But quickly, before we actually speak about West Ham Brighton, if you could have that role where you walk out a player, which player would you choose to walk out with holding Asmi hands? Nunez. Uh, That's no, a good no. question. No, Van no, Dijk, no. Salah, Salah, Trent, Salah. Alisson. Salah. Because Salah. That we could speak Arabic to each other. You don't speak Arabic. You know a couple words. Shrey, 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 shrey. Fog. Which one's, what's that? Fog's upstairs. <laughs> hey, you know, yeah, 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 you know, he's got it unlock. He's got it unlock. Mujmoon had a had a wallet. Mujmoon. He does no mad language. I remember you were telling us on Fam, TikTok. You know me. I was speaking to Ren in what language, bro? Lingala. Fam, I know, Lingala. Yeah. yeah. When Ren's here, talk to Lingala. Yeah, I'll chat to Ren. Yaka yaka. Ozan yama penza, huh? Ozan yama penza. Nanga la kata zoba. I just not gonna do that. Huh? Listen, Likilimba. Come on, fam. <laughs> nah, he jumped with an accent on that one. <laughs> but you know what? You know what? I went Algeria before, innit? Where? Oh, yeah. We're in Algeria. What? A one? A one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or run. Yeah, yeah, or run. yeah. I went there and like, I thought it's calm. Like, I can speak Arabic. That man's mix Arabic and French. Yeah, so yeah, don't, yeah, yeah. don't say Arabic word with French, French. In, involved. Yeah, and I said, yeah, I can't. It's too much. Yeah. <laughs> it's mad, bro. It's like Lebanon, bro. It's the same oh, wait, thing. Did you go Algeria before? No, but I've heard yes, Algerians yes. speak uh, yeah. Arabic. It's, it's mad. Uh, it's a nice place, though. Algeria, some place. Where I went. Yeah, Oran is nice. Yeah, yeah. What's that got to do with Brighton West Ham? Let's talk about Brighton West Ham. There's no Algerians. Oh, that's why. <laughs> ben Rama, that's why. <laughs> good link, yeah, good yeah, link, that's why. Yeah, yeah. Hey, how did you feel when the Arsenal legend for West Ham scored against you guys at Emirates and celebrated? My Rapanos? Yeah. How did you feel? I was in the play. I was, I was in the sky. My Rapanos, my Rapanos, doesn't matter. I don't play for my team. Oh. Yeah, but no, but the Arsenal legend. Arsenal legend? Yeah. He never even played for us like that. He did preseason. Dude Still. refusing to celebrate. That's weird. Yeah, I, he's like, none, he none of you guys, none of them remember you, bro. He should have done at least. Nobody remembers him. I remember him, but that's because I'm a good Arsenal fan. But he should have done a knee slide. Knee slide, kiss the badge. Yeah. He should have done a knee slide. Yeah, brother. We never gave him a chance. Should have done a knee slide. But they then, obviously, after that game, played against Brighton at home, drew nil nil. Let's hear for the West Ham fan and a Brighton fan because we don't even <coughs> have much to say about that game, even though it was on the TV here earlier. Uh, we'll hear from a West Ham fan first, 55 M's. Not the most entertaining game ever, but although we didn't win, we didn't lose. And we kept a clean sheet and we stay in sixth. Both teams had chances to get goals and Brighton easily had the better chances. Um, but Ariola made some amazing saves to keep us in the game. You can see how big the difference is when Paqueta and Kudos are out. True, man. We miss their creativity and brilliance. In this general transfer window, we really need to sign another attacker for this season. Um, and then Tactical Regista, the Brighton representation, says the field tilt was majorly mm. dominated by Brighton, who had much more control and attacking threat in the game, especially in the second half. However, this came to nothing as they weren't able to convert and the game ended goalless. Van Heke put in a great shift today to earn Brighton their first Premier League clean sheet of the season with him providing a crucial role in the build-up and also blocking out anything that came his way. Such an important player to the team. I Van Heke, like interesting, Van bro. Yeah, what's his like, potential you reckon for the Dutch national team? You've got the Euros coming up. To be fair, that is probably the one area of the squad where Holland's really stacked. We're finally so. decent there, Holland. Yeah, finally. After mm. years of boomer. Yeah, boomer. Now, and now all you got is Jensen and, 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 and Johnny Heidegger. And, 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 and now it's lopsided the other way. You say we have no attackers. I'm an England fan now, but I naturally keep saying we because growing up I was a Dutch fan. I have a Dutch passport. So I always say we. you got a Swedish one, innit? What passport you got? Dutch. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, I stopped Dutch passport. So you three 
Who's free? Rishi, Rishi can't tell you. F- oh, stars, yeah, yeah. No, no, you free. Oh, right right you? now, I got yeah. British. I got a British thing. So you man got foreign one. That's true. Yeah. Rishi can tell you man. <laughs> My bro, you, bro. Nah, bro. I got. I, I, I've, got I've got. I've got. I've got. Uh, <laughs> hey, yo. Are you here on a working visa? No, I've been. I've got full. British I'm here on a working. I'm here on a working visa. I'm on. A, I'm on a working visa. You're pissed. Yeah, he then. is. He's done. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're yeah, pissed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, say I'm done. You're a residential visa, bro. Yeah, yeah. Settle status. Yeah, same. Come on, man. You're pissed. Nah, you I'm good, bro. Don't you're worry. I'm good. Know, I'm good in any hood, bro. I know what your embassy is. No, you're not. He's too good. I'm good in any hood, bro. bro you're you ain't stripped. seen Top you're Boy, bro. You're hey, you don't know where I'm from, dog. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know where I'm from, dog. <laughs> go, 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 summer house. Where is that? Summer's house. Tell him. Don't do that. Hey, drummer Tony Silva. No, 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 no. Drummer Tony Silva. No. I thought he was going to be... So, like, you see Charisma when he was young. We yeah, thought he was going to be crazy. Tony Silva. Tony Silva, I thought he was going to be crazy. I, I really want to know where he's at. Can someone check? I don't know who he is. Tony Silva, T-O-N-I. I don't know who that is. Tony Silva, yeah, he's played with Mohican. Yeah, he's played with Mohican. <laughs> is that the player you just named because he slapped you? Yeah. 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 Tony Silva, like, I, just, I really want to know. While I get FPL. T-O... And I, hey, someone give me the phone for FPM. My phone's off. Tony Silva from no, yeah, he's, he's he? from Guinea Bissau. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah, he plays for FC Aksu in the Kazakhstan Premier League. Oh wow! Yeah, fall from grace, long, boy. What did he wow. used to play for? <coughs> Benfica, Chelsea, Liverpool, Liverpool Academy. That's why I remember Tony wow. Silva. Yeah, yeah, Adam Morgan. Yeah. All right, I thought he because he broke the record, didn't he? Serious uh, he, I think he scored like twenty-one games in a row. Serious. So I thought this guy was going to be the next big thing. Insane. I thought Good he was going to be the next big Ad, thing. Adam Morgan. Don't mess right, with Adam what about Adam Nathan N- Nathan Eccleston? I remember that name. Yeah. Ooh. Tom Ince. Bernie Eccleston. Tom Ince, of course. Yeah. Bro, like that, that team you had um um Jordan Rossiter. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Jordan Rossiter. Yeah. yeah. Shea Ojo. Yes, Ovia Jeria. He went Ovia Jeria. Yes, Rangers legend. Liverpool. Bro. I don't know. Suso was there as well. Suso we Milan. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Suso was sick. John Flanagan. I John Flanagan. John Flanagan. Andre Wisdom before. Andre, Andre Wisdom. Wisdom. Yeah, yeah, Andre Wisdom. Andy, Andy, Robertson. Andy Robertson. Andy Robertson. Connor Cody. Andy yeah. Robertson. Yeah. 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 Yo, current left back. Robinson. Robinson. Oh, I've said Rob- Andrew no, Robinson. No, no, no. Robinson. Okay. Uh, Connor Cody. Yeah. Lawrence Vigaru. He was CM. Lawrence Vigaru, goalkeeper. You don't remember. No, no, that. You know, you know, the black one. Keepers. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, I think that You know what? Man. Let me tell you. I might as well speak. <clears throat> I might as well speak now. Go on. I'm no, well, well, the roundup is done, by the way, guys. The you can stay done. around. But stay here for because for this, this, this is fantastic. FPL. This is the fun You're going to wish I told you this go news on, go earlier. Go on. Go on. So, <clears throat> I was a tout. A what? A tout. Okay. Yeah. In terms of like, I was. I love that that age group as well. Was like I've never seen football like it. Yeah, before. well, the Liverpool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was a Liverpool Anton Rons fan. So you was yeah. So I, had LFC I, I used to watch it from under eighteen. Yeah, same. That's yeah, it. That's when they played na- Southend, we beat them eight nil and eight nil. Yeah, yeah, yeah Rims five. Score five. Why do you think I know all these players? Yeah. I used to uh, LFC yeah. TV was free, so I used yeah, to yeah. watch uh, every game. Jason Banton was there. Jason Banton. Yeah, yeah. Hey, congratulations on, uh, on reverting to Islam. Yeah. Jason Banton and Michael and Gog. And. Michael Ngog. Yeah. Was, was Michael Ngu. Michael? Sorry, Michael Ngu. Yeah, yeah Ngu. Michael Ngu. Yeah. Not David Ngog. David Ngog. Yeah. No, not David Ngog. Michael, Michael, Michael Ngu. Henrik McKendy. My Hendrick boy. Henrik McKendy. That's, that interesting, That's what yeah, really boy. got me in tune with SDS. I'm going to be honest. Really? Yeah, the Henrik McKendy. I, 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 yeah, yeah. The, the Henrik McKendy interview yeah. that I did. Because I understood. Because I get real. it. I get it. Do you get it? Like, I, was really, I really wanted to know like what he's up to and stuff Who like that. Who is he? He was playing for Liverpool. Congolese. Oh, has a interesting story. Yeah, yeah. And he's got a brother as well. Kicks ball. Like, yeah, I, I was very interested, so I watched that. But anyway, yeah, Michael Ngu, mm. uh, big up Michael Ngu. Uh, I added all of them on Facebook, so I had peeped them on Facebook and stuff like that. In it, yeah. I was a weirdo. <laughs> Do you fair. get? So, was so then I said, so boom, spoke to Michael Ngu, dun, 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 boom boom, because he got his move from South End to Liverpool. So I thought, let me get get ahead of me. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I got him, lock him down. Boom boom, used to chat on Facebook. Boom boom, used to send man tickets as well. Oh shit, fair. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You send man tickets for like big games like Liverpool vs Chelsea and that. Respect. So I was like to him, I listen, man kicks ball as well, innit? <laughs> okay. He's like, you got any, any, any positions there? He's like, where'd you play? I was like, what's your goalkeeper saying? He's like, oh no, goalkeeper's lit. He plays for England. So I said, ah, oh, long. So what about your right back? <laughs> yeah. He said, oh, John Flanagan. Yeah. So I went on, I looked at John Flanagan and I was just studying John Flanagan by just looking at his picture. Yeah. yeah. And I was like to myself, <laughs> Me. Man, can, man can get ahead of him, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did you get? 
So then he sent me to a guy. Michael Ngu sent me to a guy. No yeah. way. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Well, I, this is well, I, it's oh, true fair, stories. Fair. This is true stories. So there's me telling people I'm going to play for Liverpool. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. I'm going to my school, my classmates, yeah. and I'm telling them I'm going to play for Liverpool. I used to go, there's a pitch called Market Road. Nice. I used to go there. Nice. Get my sh- shoes in my yard, tie them up, put them in each goalpost. Yes. And and like and, and just like try hit it because yeah, yeah. I'm thinking this is my chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah, sending yeah, me yeah. to someone who he used to go to that got him to this ball place fair, and fair, stuff fair. like that. Yeah. So now I'll go. It's all the way in West Ham in Memorial Park. Some guy called Lester Thomas. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I thought oh, I'm gonna rip this. <laughs> yeah, my banana, Lucasade, got my glucose levels good. Do <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you get me? Boom. Well, I've never seen guys like that in my life. <laughs> I've never seen out of your depth. guys out <laughs> in my life. That's me right back. Do you know how fast the person playing the left? <laughs> you know he if he's holding up his shoulders already. <laughs> I, he was that, so I'm fast. Like, wait, 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 Black. I'm already, I'm already. He was so <laughs> unbelievable. I've never seen it. He must have done something to me, yeah? Spun me. <laughs> Disgusting. Like, I've never... Because I've never played football in the, at that level, yeah. I didn't you know this was possible. Jump straight I didn't know it was possible. The, the things he done to me, I didn't know it was possible. He done something to me, and in my head I'm thinking, you know when certain, when the man them, you don't you don't even know them, and they go, ooh, when when people do that, the then you know it's a long day because I can't even say, I right, chill out, fam. Yeah. I, I don't know these guys, yeah. fam. Yeah. <laughs> like, you get it? They're all like six foot, boom. They're my age and that, and all I see, uh, that I don't know He's like, six foot. Oh, I remember the guy. The guy's name's Ayo. Yeah. The guy, he done it to me. Yeah. I'll never forget his name. <laughs> his name's Ayo. Let's stop and said, Ayo, what you doing? He got angry at him doing that to me. Yeah. yeah. He's like, what you doing? Next week, Sir Alec Ferguson's not going to be pleased with that. What? The yeah. other United? Trials with my United. <laughs> and this is the way I went to, fam. This is where Michael and Gog sent me. Michael and Goo. He sent me here. He sent me here. Thinking, and there's me thinking, I'm gonna, t- and in my mind, I'm I'm going there to take John Flanagan's place. <laughs> I'm going there That's thinking, yeah, this guy's gonna pick me, I'm gonna take John Flanagan's place. That's face. crazy. Because I love Liverpool so much, I'm gonna get into Liverpool. That's what my mentality was. Of course, was. of course. Did you get it? But yeah, it was long. That's crazy. I really enjoyed that. Guys, if you yeah, enjoyed, That's what I'm saying. We, we, might, we might do a, we might have to add a story time section yeah, right yeah. at the end of the pod. For you one percenters, it might be worth adding a, if someone from Essex has a story to tell. It could be an old story. It could be something that's happened long. in the week. It could be something that's coming up. That's hilarious. If you like story time section, because we would have never heard that story. I've known yeah, you for how long. Yeah, I've never heard that story. And then when I got I got rid, I, I, I knew the Liverpool thing wasn't for me. Then he messaged me saying, how did it go? <laughs> I said, it was all right. Da, 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 da. He's like, you know what? Bolton are looking for players. Oh. Then, well, that's what he said. <laughs> he, he was trying to help Yeah, you. he's trying to help nah, me. Nah, this guy is not. No, no, he generally, he, but that's what I'm saying. He's a proper nice guy. Yeah. Like, man didn't know him like that. Yeah, boom, yeah, boom, yeah. Boom, but because I'm chatting to him, da, 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 he was like, yeah, Bolton, I look f- there's me thinking now, yeah, scrap the- for me to get to Liverpool, for me to get to Liverpool, let me, let me work out in Bolton, yeah. and boom. So now I'm analysing the Bolton play. Oh, it's long, fam. Long. Who was the right like, That's how I knew, yeah, like, I knew players like Phil Jones and stuff like from, from before. From before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I- I'm analysing, thinking, man's going to butt them in FA Youth Gary Cup. Gary Cahill. You get like, man's looking at them thinking, I'm going to play, boom, 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 Phil Jones, da, da, da. Ah, you're delusional. Bro, it's mad, fam. Imagine you're actually really good, I, 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 Like, no, generally, because you put yourself out there, you, you actually got into those positions. If yeah. you were actually genuinely really good you could have made it into somewhere yeah, you got into level. positions people, like, you got into positions when people more so talented mad. than you it will was, never get into i don't know how i got into i was in that space when i mean i was really in that space yeah. i was really there like i knew stories like look at this is mad story another one yeah this is a quick one though it's not about me but jason banton yeah yeah when he was playing for liverpool when was that liverpool at the time it was that somewhere yes he was at liverpool yep. to the south end defender he added him on facebook to message him he's like yo what position are you playing bro to the defender. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the defenders that are playing on the left. He's like, yeah, say night, man's gonna rip you. <laughs> and then unfollowed him. And then just removed him as a friend. He just did that to say crazy. To say it. So I was like, That's yo, insane. and man was in that like, yeah, oh, this is real life me. and death, bro. Man's watching the South man knows the South End players, I know this, I know that. Like it was proper lit. Yeah, I was like, that man, I used to, I used to good, go to good. your Arsenal and 21's games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same, same man. Like, I'll go to uh, Jay, man, I, Park, I went to the first Arsenal game of the Spurs, one of the best games I've been to under Arsenal Spurs at Underhill, Barnet Stadium. We lost one nil in the Bill Benton. Do you know about the youngest? Crazy game in Tottenham in your age. Group. I was watching them when Carl Capiers was playing. Carl Capiers, Cameron Carter, oh. Vickers, uh, the Bill Benton. Do you know my age? I know one player. Oh, it's Nigerian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying, Bentaleb? That's <laughs> <laughs> my guy. No, I watched that. Uh, they beat us one nil. Bentaleb scored in that game. I, I what? Did you go to Tim the first Shot Emirates game under right Eames? J- uh, where J Emmanuel Thomas scored. No, no, it was before. It was time. the first person to score at the Emirates. Before my time. No, my time. No, it wasn't. He was Clash and Huntler. 
Who's Cross Van Hunter like? Cross Van Hunter. No, 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 no. Said no, no. under 18s. Before uh, the first top, team in played. The top. Before, uh, before, uh, before the first team, under 18s played. No, yeah, there was a Bergkamp Invitational. That was the first game played. Look, look testimonials. Talk about testimonials. Man, talk about testimonials. First goal to ever be scored is Hunter, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Google it. Good knowledge. Google it. Google it. Google it. Google it. We're not going to do that. It was Jay Manuel Thomas, man. It was Jet. It was Jet. Cruyff played in that game. Do you remember Jet? Who? Who? Cruyff. He played? Yeah. Jordi or Johan? Johan. Yeah, of course. So well, I played. Too, I yeah, thought yeah. he was gone time ago, fam. <laughs> this was time ago, bro. This was in 2006. 2006. Yeah, but like, I'm talking about. I thought he was gone in the 90s and that. What? No, he, Honestly, he only died like a few years. Ago. Yeah, a few years ago. Wasn't it? Yeah, mm. like 2017. Right. I Listen, now let's get into the. Oh, is uh, it? Uh, fancy yeah, Premier League section. Woo! <laughs> yes, Fuzzy's favorite section. Another, t- another. I'm top again. I got 104 points this week. Oh my god, you did. What does I that mean? Got, I got 83 and I got had Palmer on the bench. Devastated. Let me see my team real quick. Devastated. devastated. 104. You had Palmer, Salah, Foden. Sam got you good points. Oh, I am Watkins. nuts, bro. Where did that put him? How many points did I get? You had the most points this, uh, 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 this week. I'm points. coming up, bro. How many so points did I get? I'm less than 100 uh, behind you now. 70. 70. Yeah. 70. How many you are rock bottom, Fouad. I'm less so, than 100 points behind you. At one point, I was 200 points behind you. Yeah, but... Okay, cool. So, I'm coming uh, for as you, you can bro. see on I'm the screen, uh, for Izzy is still top with 1,231 mm. points. I've been, top, I'm I've been top since October, I by am the way. second. I am second. Uh, Lias is in fifth. He's moved up. Can you and hear the footsteps? And Fuad is in rock bottom in the SDS Familia League. I lost my password, man, like four months ago. In the, uh, in the SDS... Uh, Forgot your password? In the SDS League, for Izzy is actually... A1. 108. Ah, you're, you're singing like a stone, bro. Honestly, can you hear oh, that? In in that league, yeah, I am. But in the in, in the real, can you hear like that? Where there's like 12 of us, I'm yeah, you're top. I'm gone. Like I've been top since October. Yeah. Like this is boring. I won here, bro. Yeah. Long time. I'm All here, right. bro. And then in the SDS league, which you guys can be involved in, if you're not already in the link in the description, there is a code you can join. Don't worry, your points will still be there. Uh, get involved because, like I said, the winner by the end of the season gets a choice: red pill, red pill, or blue pill, which is um, five hundred pound cash prize or an appearance on SDS. So huh. mm. I'm taking the appearance, bro. I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm taking the cash, man. Five hundred pounds. What are you gonna do? I'm taking well, the actually, appearance. You guys, I don't know your financial it's situation. Like you do your thing. Yeah, five hundred pounds. Yeah, right. No, no, but, I'll, I'll but some people, uh, but some people yeah. actually maybe might want a career in like. I, yeah. I think I think so you could make good. a good, it's a good opportunity. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But some people, want, some people just want to play. Can meet Algerian journalist, bro. And 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 you get to spit the table, the cost. Yeah, true. You might say. I was, gonna say, I was just gonna turn up and cook him. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> yeah, that guy's coming for vibes. You think Fu, Levi, Ilya? Uh, you might have been choosing Steve. <laughs> nah, he's not doing so. that. <laughs> Imagine he You're nasty. I want, I want, I want his sheep host. I want Mercer win it. This guy's crazy. Uh, but yeah, let me just read up the top 10 for the SDS League before we finish. Uh, in joint first place, we've got Bloom, who's been there for time, and uh, Nawaf Ali, oh, with you the team name Meza Ozil. In third, we have uh, Donnell with his team name Free Palestine. Big up, hope you win for that team name. In fourth, Joe Jelly with Sterling Door. In fifth, Shoaib Kayani with Alison Wonderland. In sixth is Fetzolab Stefanov with Havana or Nana. In seventh is Safwan Ahmed with uh, Gigan Press. In eighth is Duazinho. In ninth is Daniel Eze, Danny FC. And in tenth is uh, Fion Tierney with Frere Jaka. You see exactly. Bloom, okay. you see Bloom, see yeah? the last one he saved, I was going to say, yo, you lot fell off with the team names, yeah, man. Yeah, you yeah, see yeah. Bloom. Yeah. You see yeah. good names. Like, how, how I look at it is like, I'm Bloom, mm. and you lot are the rest. Bloom's been there for time. Bloom, I think he's number one in the world, you know? Been there for time. No, no, real talk, I think he's number <laughs> one in the world. 1307. Yeah, in, he must be number in one in the, the world. In the world, no, in the world. Number one in the world has 1,356 points. See, that's me, and you're the rest. Yeah, you lot are the rest. immaterial point, you're boys. Nice. But yeah, guys, if you guys enjoyed it, let us know. Leave a comment below. Uh, leave your likes. If you want to join the FL League, you know what to do. Mm. And um, yeah, we'll see you guys in a few days. There is no Premier League action now for the next couple of weeks. It's obviously FA Cup and everything. We don't do FA Cup roundups. But the next couple of weeks, we're going to be doing all these fun games and topics and some new concepts. So stick around. We've got double uploads coming up in the next couple of weeks. We've got fun videos. We've got games. We've got all of that stuff. So it's going to be really good. If you want to get involved as the producers of the show, leave some comments of what you want to see. But until then, we'll see you then. Bye. Peace. And ciao.